Friday Night Rivals pregame show is sponsored by Food City. Welcome to week number 10 of Toyota's Friday Night Rivals presented by Holston Medical Group. This is the Food City pregame show. Tonight's game features the Dobbins Bennett Indians against the Science Hill Hilltoppers. At stake is a region championship for whoever wins. Winning is something Science Hill has done a lot of recently against their biggest rivals from Kingsport. Well, it's the big rivalry. I mean, it's the uh, first come is it's uh, last game of the year. It's uh, there's a lot of importance for a lot of people. Uh, I think it's a great rivalry, hometown rivalry that we kind of missed a lot. You know, when all the conferences got split up, but we've kept that one. So it, it's a big deal. It's a big deal at Science Hill. It was a big deal when I was growing up. I mean, where I grew up, I grew up in the county school right beside Dobbins Bennett. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of rivalry there. So uh, I think this school right here, it's, it's the most important game. I mean, whatever they want to say, I'd be like a Michigan and Ohio State. You know, it's those kind of games that, you know, we wait on uh, all year long. It's been a very strange rivalry in terms of, I know long, most of this was before you got here, but they had that stretch where they won 19 in a row over Science Hill. But now you guys have won nine of the last ten. That's a very odd for schools to play each other every year to have two kind of wild streaks like that. When I first got here is when that streak, and I added to a few of those streaks too. So, but it was, uh, you know, definitely was, uh, you know, hard to overcome that. You know, there was a, you know, a lot of stuff mentally that we had to overcome back then. It's been a long time, and we went back and forth since then. But at that time, when 19 years were staring us you know down right in the face it was really tough so uh but it's it's still a great rivalry both teams usually get their best every time you go out there the kids are going to be fired up you don't have to do anything special they know what it means you know what it means and both schools know what it means in the whole area so they'll be ready to play this year's game of region championship on the line just adding to what that means for the intensity of this rivalry yeah i think it does add to it i mean anytime you know probably the best atmosphere i ever uh, was in was at Dobbins Bennett High School when we were both 9-0. and We went in there and lost a game on a field goal and it was, uh, you know, it was a bad defeat, but probably the best atmosphere I've ever been around. You probably had 10,000 plus in that stadium, probably one of the biggest gates. I think they had like a $75,000 gate, uh, including the concession stands because it was crazy. But uh, that was a lot of years ago and that was uh, the year before we actually beat them. And uh, it come down to a field goal, so some, that is the kind of atmospheres you have when you have a conference championship on the line. I know you had a very late bye week, so you've had two weeks to prepare for this game. When you have a late bye week like that, one, how much was it needed after playing nine straight weeks, and how beneficial is it to have an extra week before your biggest game of the year? Well, it was very beneficial. Not, you know, you get beat up nine weeks straight. So it, it had us a, a chance to heal up. You know, nothing, uh, if you have some bad injury, it's not going to heal it up. But if you had this bumps and bruises and things that were nagging all, all year long, you get a, a week, another week to recover. And also gives you another week to prepare. You know, you're not in a hurry preparing, you're, uh, you know, taking your time, you're watching a lot of film, you're getting a game plan together, you see what's going to work and what's not going to work because you're able to throw a lot of stuff out and kind of, uh, you know, slim it down a little bit before you uh, go into the, uh, the next week because it's definitely an advantage and glad we, glad we were able to get that week. When you're coming off a of bye week and all the years you've been coaching, do you look for anything different in how a team responds after not playing for you know, an extra week having a, a, an open week there. Is there anything you see or look for early to make sure they're locked and ready to go? You don't have to with this one. I mean, the thing about it is they know as soon as we finished that Jeff County game that uh, we had home field advantage. And know the only thing we had to do to win the conference is to beat Dobbins Bennett. So from that point on, everybody's been focused. Like I say, you're in, we're in Johnson City. They know what this game means. Uh, everybody in Kingsport knows what it means. So it's not really that hard to get them fired up and have to change anything. No matter what the sports are, whether it's baseball, volleyball, when these two teams play, it's always a big game. How much fun is it to be part of a rivalry like this? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's one of the best things, you know, since I've been in coaching. It is definitely, and the Elizabethan game is great, too. That is awesome. But there's nothing like this one, you know, for uh, at Science Hill. And, and we're so excited about this. And, uh, and I'm just uh, very fortunate to be part of, uh, you know, this great tradition here at Science Hill and uh, that in the tradition in this game. 
Coming up next, we're going to catch up with Dobbins Bennett head coach Joey Christian as his Indians play for a region championship tonight. What's your definition of fresh? At Food City, our starts every morning as our certified butchers hand cut everything you see behind the counter fresh that day. Fresh also means our beef is ground in the store several times a day. Time stamped with the hour it was ground. That's a fresh guarantee. The fact is, it just doesn't get any fresher than this. That's why we say start fresh with Food City. It's Ram Power Days at Friendship Ram in Bristol. Right now, get 0% for 72 months on 1,500 Laramies with a huge selection, all with a lifetime warranty and a seven-day any reason exchange. Nobody beats Friendship Ram of Bristol. We're dealing. Citizens Bank is a locally owned and operated bank serving communities in East Tennessee. The bank was established in 1934 with three guiding principles at its foundation. Assurance of safety to depositors, a high standard of service to customers, and a genuine desire to serve the community. These principles are the core factor in the success that has lasted over 85 years and grown Citizens Bank to the renowned financial institution it is today. To learn more about Citizens Bank, visit CitizensBank24.com. Stormtrack 5 makes sure you're prepared for what the day brings. Whether you need an umbrella, a jacket, or sunscreen, check your Stormtrack 5 weather app throughout the day to know whether the weather has changed. Stormtrack 5, alerting you to severe weather danger. How do they do that? How does Champion Chevrolet compete with the big cities like Nashville, Memphis, Knoxville, Chattanooga to sell more Chevys than any other Chevy dealer in the state of Tennessee? It's the customer service our team of employees provide to you, plus a massive selection and availability of income and inventory that sets us apart from our competition that made us Tennessee's number one Chevy dealer again for 21. Great products like the Silverado, Tahoe, Equinox, Blazer, and Trailblazer with transparent pricing makes your purchase experience seamless. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? Dobbins Bennett enters tonight's game with a record of 8-1. The Indians are a two-point conversion away against Greenville from being 9-0. When it comes to DB and Science Hill, however, recent history is not on the side of the Indians. So when I asked head coach Joey Christian, what comes to mind when he hears DB and Science Hill? He had this to say. Recently, it's been a lot of bad memories. How's that? The last, uh, having only won one in the last uh, 10 times we played them. Um, you know, it's, it's not good, not good at all, but it, it's, it's exciting. Uh, it's exciting to both communities, um, uh, you know, and I, I have a lot of memories of these games, good and bad, good and bad. So, you know, there's a, there's a rush of things that comes to mind on that. So, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be a good one uh, on Friday. What was it like when you were growing up? I know you went to volunteer from a distance. What did you perceive of the Science Hill Dobbins Bennett rivalry? They were the two big bullies on top of the mountain. If you were ever going to, you know, if you were ever going to get to where you wanted to be, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to knock one of them off eventually to get there, which we never did. But <laughs> what was it like then when you came to Dobbins Bennett and you became part of that rivalry? Now, I remember it. I remember 03, the, the first game was, was actually was broadcast on TV and it was, I mean, it was crazy. I was like, I, I just, couldn't believe that, uh, you know, there was that many people that late in the year. And I th if I remember correctly, it was on Halloween and people were like dressed up and all this. It was like, it was crazy. But you can tell that was 20 years ago too. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously it's two communities that, that really care. And so, you know, we'll define it to our kids. Uh, we don't, uh, you know, we don't skirt that issue. We always say it's, it's blue collar Kingsport versus white collar Johnson City, and who's who's going to win? I mean, you know, it's 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 Eastman versus ETSU. It's it's uh, Johnson City Medical Center versus Holston Valley Hospital. Before the season, if somebody told you week eleven you're going to be playing for a region championship, would you take that hundred out of hundred times? Absolutely, absolutely. That that's the, and especially against Science Hill. You know, that's the. Um, I know we feel like that. We feel like the conference or the region championship should always come down uh, to us. We want to be, we want our name to, or our hat to be in the ring on that for sure. So, uh, yeah, we want that every time. And uh, the fact that it's against them makes it, makes it even better. This is why you do those weightlifting sessions all year round. Like these are the 
moments you do all that for and for it to be part of that now with it all on the line what does that mean to you and your team that'll be said too at some point in time you know you play you know this year you play you play a very very good greenville team you know and you play uh, last week a rivalry game against uh oak ridge and then this week i mean yeah i mean we ask our kids uh to start we ask them to come in the day after memorial day I mean, Tuesday morning after Memorial Day at 7 o'clock, and, and you're going to be here for two and a half hours, and we're going to lift, we're going to run, and we're going to install coverages and plays and things like that, and, and we're going to do that all the way up to the dead period. I mean, and it's, it's, it's no break. I mean, playing football at Dobbins Bennett is a tremendous, tremendous effort, and, uh, you, you know, you, you really have to be invested in it. And so uh, you're right. You, you do those things payday, it's Friday. Payday, you know, it's every Friday, but this one, maybe it pays a little bit more. Regardless of what happens on Friday, you have a home playoff game in round one. How important is it to be at home as long as you can be in the second season and knowing you have at least one home game in playoffs? You know, having done this a while, it's important to have home field advantage. Uh, li listen, the win over Science Hill on Friday would be great. The conference region championship, sure. Home for the playoffs for rounds one and two, that's you, you can't put a price on that as to how much because travel gets to be such a part of the playoffs when um, and and because and trust me I've done it when you you know when you got to drive from here to Bradley Central or something like that I mean our, our kids they don't know where that is and if you say well it's three hours away that that's hard on on kids and you know we don't get to go down and spend the night in motels and things like that like they do in college it's a it's a get out of school early, drive down, eat somewhere, you know, try to get your body right and play, get back on the bus. It's, uh, it's so difficult. So the playoffs just, and, and with us being so landlocked in 6A up here, us and Science Hill being so landlocked, you know, you can, that can be an advantage when those teams from Knoxville that aren't used to traveling very far and, are, and certainly aren't used to traveling this way, when they have to come up here, or it can be a disadvantage when you have to go to Knoxville or to uh, Chattanooga area and you know even further that that that, that becomes um, uh, that can be real difficult on you coming up next we're gonna go inside the numbers on tonight's matchup between Science Hill and Dobbins Bennett All trophies and plaques for WCYB's Friday Night Rivals are provided by Eddie's Trophies and Gift Shop in Bristol. Eddie's Trophies also offers medals, plaques, acrylics, glass, and crystal pieces for your business, school, or sports team. That's Eddie's Trophy and Gift Shop online at eddiestrophies.com. At Bank of Tennessee, it's our job to help you focus on the happy moments and check off the things on your to-do list to pull it all off, like finding the perfect soil mixture, the right pots, and a healthy inventory. So you can wonder what they'll think of the displays and if your green thumb will leave its mark on the community. We're here along the way so you can pull off the happiest moments in life. Bank of Tennessee, in the business of happiness. It was awesome to see what it can really do. That was the most intense experience I've ever had. At a recent off-road event, real Toyota Tundra owners found out just how capable the new Tundra is. I had no idea these could do what it did. With 437 horsepower and available multi-terrain selected crawl control, Tundra can go anywhere and do anything. This truck was born for this. I am probably a Tundra owner for life at this point. I'm very impressed. The more you know, the more you'll drive Toyota. Let's go places. What's your definition of fresh? At Food City, ours starts every morning as our certified butchers hand cut everything you see behind the counter fresh that day. Fresh also means our beef is ground in the store several times a day. Time stamped with the hour it was ground. That's a fresh guarantee. The fact is, it just doesn't get any fresher than this. That's why we say start fresh with Food City. At Friendship Hyundai, we have over 150 new Hyundais for sale, and we're turning the clock back on prices. New 22 Santa Fe's only $23.9, all with three years free maintenance and a lifetime warranty. Nobody beats Friendship Hyundai of Bristol and Johnson City. We're dealing. Welcome back to the Food City pregame show. Let's go inside the numbers on tonight's matchup between Dobbins Bennett and Science Hill. Dobbins Bennett, they're eight and one on the season. Science Hill, five and four. Both teams, though, are unbeaten in Region One Six A action. 
As for the history of this rivalry, it was simply dubbed the streak. From 1995 to 2012, Dobbins Bennett won 19 straight games against the Hilltoppers. However, in 2013, Science Hill finally ended the streak. And since then, in the last decade, this series has been all Science Hill. The Toppers winning nine of the last 10 games against Dobbins Bennett. Well, there's only one thing left to do before kickoff, and that's make some predictions. The Prep Picks crew up next as we continue our countdown to kickoff. ETSU is you. ETSU is adventurous and distinctive and inclusive. ETSU is passionate. Together, we create a place where community is family. Your passion, your future, your purpose. ETSU is you. <laughs> the undisputed heavyweight volume dealer from Knoxville to Roanoke, Fridge and Jeep of Bristol, World Dealer. It's Jeep Adventure Days at Friendship Jeep in Bristol. Right now, get 0% for 72 months on select gladiators and come see the all new 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xe. Nobody beats the number one Jeep dealer in Tennessee at Friendship Jeep in Bristol. We're dealing. Take us out for a hot dog. Take us out for some pals. Give us that chili, mustard, onion, and meat. All dressed up and ready to eat. Let us root, root, root for the pals team. Their hot dogs make our day. For it's one, two, three bites, they're gone. Now that's our triple play. Wow, guys, uh, never heard that one before. Grab a hot dog from pals today. Great food in a flash. Life can be a lot sometimes. But at Holston Medical Group, our primary care providers are here through it all, whether it be a routine checkup or something unexpected. Because at HMG, we're here for you through every stage of life with the best primary care and support. Whether it's you or the people you love most, choose a primary care provider you can rely on. Choose HMG, your health partner for life. Now accepting new patients. Fix is sponsored by Hardee's. Hello and welcome to week number 11 of Prep Picks. I'm Casey Getz alongside Heather Williams, Steve Womith, ESPN Tri-Cities, TriCitiesports.com. Last week, Heather and Steve picked up a game on me. So, Steve, you are two back. Heather, six back. We got plenty of weeks left to go here, so anything can still happen. Steve, we'll start with a very intriguing non-region game, Northeast Tennessee. 9-0 Daniel Boone at 8-1 Hampton. You'll be hard-pressed across this state to find another game this week with two teams with only one combined loss. Hampton's loss came a step up in competition at 3A Gatlinburg-Pittman. Hampton gave up 48 points in that game. It's other eight games on the year. Hampton's allowed only 49. This game is two more notches up with Daniel Boone and that great defense. I'll take Daniel Boone on the road, but I think it's going to be close. It was 27-14 last year. I think Boone gets out to a lead and shuts it down and wins it at Hampton. I think this is an important game for both teams, not because of, uh, of the score. I, I agree with Ham uh, Steve. I think Ham Hampton will probably not win this game, but I think it's important for them to play these kind of games because it prepares them for the postseason. Hampton was able to make a deep run in the postseason last year because they played a very difficult schedule, stepped up in class several times. They're doing that again this year. That's why this game is so important the score doesn't matter so much. I don't think that either team, I think that it is indeed Boone that gets the win. I asked Jeremy Jenkins after the basketball, what is the motivation going into this game? And he said, our school's been open since 1971. No team has ever gone 10-0 in the regular season. That is the motivation for Daniel Boone. They complete the perfect regular season. A day early on Thursday, they get the win at Hampton. Heather, Southwest Virginia, Rye Cove is still playing after two consecutive open dates. Feels like we haven't seen them in a month. They got a huge game at J.I. Burton. Yeah, this will be the one game that everybody will point to because as good as they've been, a lot of people are saying, ah, oh, strength of schedule, not so much. But believe me when I tell you, this Rye Cove team is for real. I think they get it done and they prove it. I'm picking Rye Cove this week. You know, if you're Rye Cove, your only loss of the year 
came on the week where you, you were on Pret Picks. <laughs> the Pret Picks curse is real. I will take J.I. Burton. I'm going to take J.I. Burton. Steve Union back at home after a bye week. The Bears welcoming Abingdon to Bullet Park. Yeah, two more teams, very evenly matched, exact same record in district play, have lost to the same teams, Gate City and Ridgeview. Abingdon had Ridgeview on the ropes last week. I really tried to break this day, game down scientifically and find which team had the advantage. My notes, they're completely blank. I've got <laughs> nothing. Each team has advantages that the other team can counteract. I'll take Union. I'll be honest with you, it's pretty much a complete guess. Well, for me, I think the deciding factor is Abingdon last week against Ridgeview. They gave the Wolfpack all that they wanted on competition level. And I think when you look at the youth of these two teams, especially on Union, I think that Abingdon may be just a little bit further along in developing that youth. I think it's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be a really good game. But when you look at what happened last week, I was really impressed with the way that Abingdon played against Ridgeview, who is clearly the top dog in the Mountain 7. And so I'm going to give the slight eight edge to Abingdon just based on uh, recency bias, I guess. I like the Bears to get the win at home. Heather, we have a winner-take-all region championship game in 3A West Green at Chucky Doak. Both teams 8-1. I've been a really big believer all year in West Green that they were kind of quietly the more underrated team in, in our area, really. And so just because I don't feel like they're getting enough love and for no other reason because they are completely even to me, I'm going to go with West Green because I'm not sure that you two will. <laughs> well, I kind of looked at the district games or region games that these teams have played this year, and West Green has won its three region games by a combined 20 points. Conversely, Chucky Doak has beaten those same three teams by 102 points. Ooh. I have doubted West Green all year. Didn't know they could go to Johnson County and get the win. They did. Didn't know they could step up and go to Cherokee and win for the first time over the Chiefs ever. They won by 30 last week. I don't think anybody thought they were going to beat Unicoi County here on the panel. They did. Heather did. <laughs> My bad. Good you. So why am I still doubting Wes Green? I don't know, but I am. I'm going to go with Chucky Doak just based on those point differentials on the three region components. I like Chucky Doak to get the win. Finally, Steve, 6A, another winner-take-all region championship game. Dobbins Bennett at Science Hill. It's our Friday Night Rivals TV game. A 101st meeting between these two teams. Dobbins Bennett has a big lead in the series. Science Hill, however, has won nine of the last ten. It's the same thing every year for Science Hill. They have beaten Dobbins Bennett in one-on-one -on -one matchups. If they can do that, they'll win. But I'm going to take Dobbins Bennett in a close one this week. Dobbins Bennett gets the Region 1 6A title. I think that you will see Dobbins Bennett play the way that they've played all year. I think all else being equal, I think that Dobbins Bennett is a little bit uh, more balanced team than Science Hill, a little more athletes. And so I'm picking... Uh, Dobbins Bennett, but if the team played last week at Dobbins Bennett shows up, then Science Hill could jump up and bite them. So I'm not, I'm not dissing Science Hill at all. I just think that Dobbins Bennett, all else being equal, probably gets the win in this one. I'm going to go with the trend here. You know, Dobbins Bennett won 19 in a row from, I think, 95 to 2012, and now it's been 9 of 10 for Science Hill, as Steve mentioned. I think the Hilltoppers off a of bye week can get this win at home, and they win the region championship once again. Well, Steve and Heather, thank you for joining me, as always, here on Prep Picks. Don't forget, you get all your scores and highlights coming up on Friday Night Huddle. At Friendship Hyundai, we have over 150 new Hyundais for sale, and we're turning the clock back on prices. New 23 Sonatas, only 23.9, all with three years free maintenance and a lifetime warranty. Nobody beats Friendship Hyundai of Bristol and Johnson City. We're dealing. We're heading into all-wheel drive season. And this RAV4 is one of 15 different all-wheel drive vehicles from Toyota. RAV4 can handle the rain, the snow, the off-road, whatever comes your way. Which explains why it's the best-selling SUV in America. you got all kinds of room back here. And RAV4 all-wheel drive can even come with an electrified hybrid powertrain. Now, during Toyota's fall savings season, you can save thousands in fuel costs on an electrified RAV4 hybrid. Plus, get two years no-cost maintenance. Toyota. Let's go places. What's your definition of fresh? At Food City, our starts every morning as our certified butchers hand cut everything you see behind the counter fresh that day. Fresh also means our beef is ground in the store several times a day. Time stamped with the hour it was ground. That's a fresh guarantee. The fact is, it just doesn't get any fresher than this. That's why we say start fresh with Food City. 
Your Kingsport Chamber is celebrating 75 years of excellence, and we invite you to join. Your membership provides valuable networking opportunities to grow relationships that will help your business be profitable with cost-effective marketing. Chamber memberships get you connected to the community, making your company one that has credibility and attracts new customers to your business. Join today. Call 423-392-8805 or visit kingsportchamber.org. It's Ram Power Days at Friendship Ram in Bristol. Right now, get 0% for 72 months on 1,500 Laramies with a huge selection, all with a lifetime warranty and a seven-day any reason exchange. Nobody beats Friendship Ram of Bristol. We're dealing. Welcome to Kermit Tipton Stadium. It is senior night for Science Hill. The Hilltoppers hoping to send their seniors out with a region championship with a win over their rivals from Kingsport, the Dobbins Bennett Indians. And coach, we're going to talk Dobbins Bennett. We've got to start with their quarterback, Jake Carson. Oh, yeah, number 13, Jake Carson, six foot six, 220 pounds. He's completed 66% of his passes on the year for 1,524 yards and 20 touchdowns. On the other side, Tyler Moon does a little bit of everything for Science Hill. Yeah, number five Tyler Moon is Mr. Excitement. Five foot eight, 160 pounds, plays wide receiver, slot receiver, quarterback in a wildcat offense. They use him everywhere. He can score anytime he touches the ball. He returns punts, he returns kickoffs. Tyler Moon is a man at Science Hill. The Dobbins Bennett Band not here tonight. They're on their way to Alabama. However, the middle school band from Robinson and Severe Middle Schools, they are filling in tonight, doing a fantastic job. They don't sound like a middle school band. So we are getting fired up here for high school football. The final Friday in a beautiful fall October night from Steve Spurrier Field. Kickoff coming up. At Carter County Bank, it's our job to help you focus on the happy moments. And if your green thumb will leave its mark on the community. We're here along the way so you can pull off the happiest moments in life. Carter County Bank, in the business of happiness. We're heading into all-wheel drive season, and nobody has more to choose from than Toyota. That's where we're back in the aggressively styled Toyota Highlander. The Highlander can handle whatever comes your way. It's got room for eight, connectivity for all your devices. No wonder it's the best-selling SUV in its class. Highlander all-wheel drive can even come with an electrified hybrid powertrain. Now, during Toyota's fall saving season, you can save thousands in fuel costs on an electrified Highlander hybrid. Plus, get two years no-cost maintenance. Toyota. Let's go places. Life can be a lot sometimes. But at Holston Medical Group, our primary care providers are here through it all, whether it be a routine checkup or something unexpected. Because at HMG, we're here for you through every stage of life with the best primary care and support. Whether it's you or the people you love most, choose a primary care provider you can rely on. Choose HMG, your health partner for life. Now accepting new patients. The grand opening sales event is going on now at the all-new Kia of Johnson City. New Kia Rio, $249 per month. New Kia K5, $359 per month. New Kia Telluride, $499 per month. We want to see you in a Kia. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion. Obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. At Carter County Bank, it's our job to help you focus on the happy moments and check off the things on your to-do list to make them happen. We're here along the way so you can pull off the happiest moments in life. Carter County Bank, in the business of happiness. Toyota's Friday Night Rivals, presented by Holston Medical Group. And welcome back to Kermit Tipton Stadium, Steve Spurrier Field, the Sky 5 drone powered by Empire Ford flying high above here on the final Friday night of the regular season in Northeast Tennessee. It is time now for tonight's coin toss. This evening's coin toss is sponsored by the Tennessee Army National Guard. All right, tonight's coin toss, Dobbins Bennett, coach, looks like they are going to receive the opening kickoff here. So this big rivalry game, we're going to see this Dobbins Bennett offense first tonight. 
Yeah, in order for Dobbins Bennett to, uh, to be successful tonight, they've got to move the ball, both running and passing. And I think Science Hill tonight with their defense, they've got to, they've got to shut down two. All right, here are big region game implications. It's real simple. Whoever wins this game wins the region championship. Both teams undefeated in region play. The winner tonight, number one seed, they will be home for at least two rounds of the playoffs if they win. Coach, let's talk some keys of the game. The keys of the game tonight, stop the run with seven in the box for DB. Be balancing on the offense. And by being balanced on offense, they've got to run and pass the ball. Over from on the other side of the field, the Science Hill Hilltoppers, they got to control the clock. And what I mean by controlling the clock is keep the clock running at all times with their running game. This keeps DB's offense off the field for them to be successful. They don't give up the big play. They can't give up the big play tonight. They've got to make the Indians drive the length of the field if they're going to score. They can't give up any easy touchdowns. All right, tonight's forecast, 60 degrees. Very light wind. You could not ask for better weather in late October. You know, talking to Stacey Carter, head coach of Science, so earlier in the week, he's like, I'm so thankful for a good forecast because the last couple years when these two teams have played, he said it's been nasty, it's been cold, it's been raining. So we're able to fly the Sky 5 drone tonight. Keith Roberts, Jason Hutchinson doing a great job as they have all season long. And again, Science Hill will kick things off. But we are underway for the 101st meeting between Science Hill and Dobbins. Bennett, Max Turn with the kick. It's going to be returned by Hayden Russell for Dobbins Bennett. Hayden Russell going down the sidelines. Hayden Russell gets brought down at the 15. And what a spark plug to start this one for the Indians. Yeah, Hayden Russell, he was just taking his time coming up there, watching his blockers hit in the middle and sort of broke to the outside and down the sideline, turned on the speed, was able to tackle him before he could get in the end zone. So it's going to be first down on the 15-yard line. Here's a replay worth another look here. And Dobbins Bennett's offense going to get great starting field position for their big quarterback, Jake Carson, six foot six senior. Coach touched on him in the pregame. And Dobbins Bennett's going to start at the 15-yard line. So we'll see if the Science Hill defense with their backs against the wall here can step up with a very, very short field. Already inside the Toyota red zone. It's going to be a handoff on first down. Not much there for Peyton Franklin. Oh, yeah. Uh, Franklin, he was going to break it a little bit to the outside, but he was tackled in the middle that time coming across the middle for the defense was number six necessary making a stop after he ganged about a yard here's the Dobbins Bennett offense we talked about Jake Carson keep an eye on Jonathan Gillespie the wide receiver he is a playmaker they want to get the ball in his hands as much as possible on the outside number zero second and nine for the Indians from the science Hill 14 yard line the first throw of the game for Carson he's going to the end zone that one overthrown good coverage Excellent coverage over there on the outside was uh, trying to go deep right then to uh, get it in the end zone to Gillespie. He was covered well. There's a Science Hill defense. Again, going to get a big test here early on. Baylor necessary in the middle there. The linebacker also Devin Medina. Those two are big-time linebackers. Then Kendall Bumpus was in coverage there on Gillespie, setting up third and nine for Dobbins Bennett. This would be a big stop for Science Hill here if they can... Keep him short of the first down or out of the end zone. Empty back. It's going to be a screen caught down low by Gillespie. And he's going to be very close to a first down. He did a great job catching that one, Coach. That was low. Yeah, that was a little inside bubble screen. Got his hands underneath it. Was able to pick up uh, about seven or eight yards on the play. Looks like the officials are it's going to be a little short, I believe. Yeah, it's going to be fourth down. Decision time. I believe they've already decided they're going for the touchdown. Be no no field goal tonight. Yeah, Joey Christian. Now they're running in four different players here. Late substitution. The play clock's down to 10 seconds here. Dobbins Bennett's going to have to hurry. Like a muddle huddle here at the ball. Carson's going to sneak it across, and he's got the first down. Use that beef behind you there. Just push the big six-foot uh, yeah, six quarterback. That, that, that's all that play was. The quarterback get the ball, and you've got a lot of pushing coming from behind. Getting over the five-yard line to get the first down on about the four. You did see there, the maybe keep an eye on this, Will Ford, the starting center. His helmet came off on that play, so he's going to have to come out for one play. So a different center will be in on this first and goal for Dobbins Bennett from the four-yard line. 
Again, a huge kickoff return by Hayden Russell set the Indians up at the 15-yard line. Carson's going to go under center now. I formation, and he almost bobbled that there. A handoff to Branson Carswell, and he's going to lose a couple. Hey, he was hit immediately in the middle. There was nothing going on. McVay came through the A-gap. As soon as he touched the ball, he was hitting the backfield. That was Bryson Hill on the tackle for Science Hill. He's second and six now. Second and goal from the six for Dobbins Bennett. They're going to go back to a shotgun here with three receivers on second and goal from the six. Tight end. Go over to the left side as well there. Man in motion. It's going to be a fake and then a throw by Carson High. He was looking for Gillespie, two defenders in coverage. Yeah, he was double covered by the corner and his safety that time. I think they've seen that play before. A little play action. Tried to hit Gillespie, but he was covered well. Third and goal from the six. 9-15 remaining in the opening quarter. Dobbins Bennett looking to strike first. Again, the winner of this game wins the Region 1 6A championship. They'll be the number one seed in the top part of the bracket for next week's first round of the playoffs. Carson looking. He's got all time across the middle. Back of the end zone. Touchdown, Hayden Russell. Yeah, Hayden Russell found an open spot back there at the back of the end zone. Carson just waited there. Some great protection by the offensive line. Gave Carson a lot of time to throw here. Watch the offensive line doing a great job. No one anywhere near Carson. Yeah, we had one linebacker to stun on that. Marsh uh, came up in the middle there, number nine. But it's excellent blocking by the right guard that time. Uh, Brown got down. Extra point by Titan. Thomas is up and good. Dobbins Bennett on top, seven to nothing. Science Hill will get the ball for the first time when we come back on Friday Night Rivals. You want a tough truck? Take a look at this Toyota Tacoma. The best-selling truck in his class 17 years in a row. Want to know why? Let's go for a ride. We went to an off-road park to see what the rugged new Tacoma can really do. And we were blown away. With multi-terrain select, you can go from rocks to mud and sand just like that. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. During Toyota's fall truck season, save on a new Tacoma with new vehicles arriving daily. Plus, two-year no-cost maintenance. Nobody knows trucks like Toyota. Let's go places. Take us out for a hot dog. Take us out for some pals. Give us that chili, mustard, onion, and meat. All dressed up and ready to eat. Let us root, root, root for the pals team. Their hot dogs make our day. For it's one, two, three bites, they're gone. Now that's a triple play. Wow, guys, uh, never heard that one before. Grab a hot dog from pals today. Great food in a flash. Toyota's Friday Night Rivals, presented by Holston Medical Group. Welcome back to Kermit Tipton Stadium. Dobbins Bennett strikes first, seven to nothing lead over Science Hill and coaches the forgotten part of the game. Sometimes special teams made that big play right there early on. Yeah, special teams set him up for that easy touchdown, but it took him seven plays to get into the end zone from the 15 yard line. I think Science Hill, they decided they're gonna play some defense tonight. If you wanna win it, you're gonna have to earn it. So Titan Thomas, who had that extra point there, will kick things off from the 40-yard line. A Toyota kickoff. Science Hill will get the ball for the first time. A really high but short kick. It's going to go out of bounds. So that will give Science Hill good field position. I don't think they want to kick that ball to deep to Moon tonight. They were trying to kick it over there to the up back on the sideline at about the 20-yard line. Kick went just a little wide. So it's going to be excellent field position starting on the 35. I wonder if they're going to have him kick it again here. I think so. They want a chance to return it. As you mentioned, Tyler Moon, quite a weapon, and Stacey Carter says, why don't you guys kick that again here, but five yards further back. So now this kickoff will come from the 35. Science Hill has won nine of the last ten meetings against Dobbins Bennett. 
but before that, DB had won 19 straight from 1995 to 2012. It was just the streak, and then it ended in 2013. It's kind of flipped the other way here of late. So Titan Thomas will re-kick this time from the 35. And this time, Tyler Moon's going to have a chance to return, and he feels it at the six-yard line. And gets down short of the 20, so that gamble does not pay off for Science Hill. No, it was the excellent coverage on the kickoff team that time. Coming down the field with Simpson, number 11, making a solo tackle right there on the 19-yard line. So there's, again, uh, Moon at the 6. It was a 13-yard return, but Tony Simpson with the tackle. So now we're going to see the Science Hill offense for the first time. Their quarterback, Jay Sean Butter Schwartz. It's going to be a handoff to Moon on first down. Moon has some room, and good night. Tyler Moon is going to take this one 81 yards for the touchdown. And Coach Tyler Moon, just a little glimpse of what he can do. Oh, my goodness. Uh, over there on that left side that time, number 75, Bennett made an excellent block and heel. I think we'll be able to see that here on the replay. Once he got through the line of scrimmage, it was over. It was over. Here we go with a cutback. And no one's going to catch Tyler Moon in a foot race. You see the offensive line and put their hands up. They know it was a touchdown, 81 yards. And we have some early fireworks tonight here between these two rivals, Max Turin. Will be in for the extra point here to try and tie things up at seven. And if these first three minutes and 11 seconds are any indication, coach, we are going to have one heck of a ball game tonight. Kick is up. It is good. So we are tied at seven. Early fireworks in Johnson City. Tyler Moon over the moon tonight. We'll be back on Friday Night Rivals. <laughs> It's Ford Truck Month at Friendship Ford in Bristol. Don't pay over MSRP. Order your new F-150 from Friendship and get a free $500 gas card and $500 toward accessories. Nobody beats Friendship Ford of Bristol. We're dealing. Citizens Bank is a locally owned and operated bank serving communities in East Tennessee. The bank was established in 1934 with three guiding principles at its foundation. Assurance of safety to depositors, a high standard of service to customers, and a genuine desire to serve the community. These principles are the core factor in the success that has lasted over 85 years and grown Citizens Bank to the renowned financial institution it is today. To learn more about Citizens Bank, visit CitizensBank24.com. <laughs> it's Ford Truck Month at Friendship Ford in Bristol. Don't pay over MSRP. Order your new F-150 from Friendship and get a free $500 gas card and $500 toward accessories. Nobody beats Friendship Ford of Bristol. We're dealing. Welcome back. We have a Martin Dentistry Smile Cam tonight. Dave Dirks and Lisa Johnson, the very first Smile Cam participants, courtesy of Martin Dentistry. Dave, Lisa, excellent smiles. Well done. I think Dave's so happy because he had all that food earlier today <laughs> before the game. That's why he's smiling so much there. Yeah, right. when you eat that much, you have to smile about it. Kickoff here. Dropped there by Hayden Russell. Having a hard time picking up the ball. It's loose, and Science Hill recovers. Oh, my goodness. What momentum swings here early on. Hayden Russell had a huge return the first time. Oh, no, nope. looks like Dobbins Bennett did get the ball back. Yeah, it's squirted out. I believe the officials are meeting discussion here on the, if he was down or not. Who got on the ball? Like Hayden Russell there drops it, and he had a hard time picking the ball up. Oh, the ball came back to him there. Wow, how did Science Hill not come up with that one? So Dobbins Bennett, looked like Hayden Russell almost might be might have kicked it to himself there a little bit. Great yeah, job, though. The ball uh, definitely hit his foot. Science Hill wants, to, wants an explanation on this. You see here, watch him instead. He was just kept trying to pick the ball up. As Baylor necessary, it makes contact with him. The ball is loose, but then it comes back to him there with his foot there, and looks like he's sitting on it right now. Can you say an accidental kick? 
That might be the most important kick of the night for Dobbins Bennett if they get this ball right here. Yeah, Sides Hills want to know why we don't have the ball. Whoa! Now they're saying Science Hill ball. And Joey Christian's going to want an explanation. Well, I, I, I can't understand that. Of course, they don't have the benefits of a replay, but uh, he definitely has the ball here. Here it is again. Again, loses Watch it. Necessary. The ball Jumps is out. Misses it. He's back on it. He has the ball. This official on the right think, thinks that Science Hill has yeah. the ball, yeah, the but he doesn't have the ball. Now the referee. They get up. Oh, my goodness. There's Larry Hutchinson, the referee tonight, explaining to Joey Christian. and Joey Christian just despondent there looking. He can't even make eye contact. He's just listening. And yeah, watch who has the football right here. You're going to see it's going to be Hayden Russell, number two. He's got the football. He's on the ground with the football. And again, you know, officials do not have the benefit of instant replay, but uh, that appears to be a, a major mistake here in Dobbins Bennett. A, a bad break going against the Indians here. You got to be happy if you're on Science Hill sideline, but I can see right now DB is the that's bad break for them. All right, Science Hill. Now, can they take advantage of this good fortune as they're set up inside the Toyota red zone here at the 16 yard line of Dobbins Bennett? We want to see another Wildcat right here. Tyler Moon going to direct snap and he's going to take it left cut it back inside the 10 down to about the nine yard line so the first play coach they have moon lined up as the tailback now this time in the wildcat yeah and, uh oh daniel over there was a tight end that time was blocking it two other backs over there on that side necessary and uh, didn't get a number of the other he's back in the wildcat again Second down, Tyler Moon this time going to the right, trying to follow those blockers. Good patience, Moon's inside the five, down to maybe the two-yard line. So Science Hills ran three plays, all three to Tyler Moon. That's what you want to do, right? Get your best player in football. That's right. Put it in his hands. Put it in his hands. That time, I think, in the middle, end up making a tackle was McVay, number 58. So we've seen another touchdown. Back to the Wildcat. First and goal from the one. Moon is going to take it in for the touchdown. Yeah, it was hit on the goal line, but it was a little late that time. Got great blocking up front by the Science Hills offense. Barnett and Hill over there on that left-hand side. Tyler Moon. His second touchdown of the opening quarter here. This makes it 13-7 to Science Hill. In fact, Science Hill has ran four plays, and Moon has touched it every single time. Max Turin in to attempt the extra point. It is good. It makes it 14-7. We'll be back on Toyota's Friday Night Rivals. This financial literacy tip is brought to you by Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation. With the interest rates rising in two, during 2022, why is it still a good time to buy a house? Right now, rent is 100% interest. Every penny you pay goes to the landlord. If you go ahead and buy a house down, lock in, three things can happen. Rates can keep going up and you're locked into the lower rate. Number two, rates can stay stable over the next few years and you're where they're at. Or number three, rates could go back down and you always will have the opportunity to refinance, lower your interest rate, lower your payment, and save money. So that's a win, draw, win for potential home buyers. And home buying, home ownership is still the best way to build your financial future and not throw money away to your landlord. Rents are currently 17% higher than they were last year in all time highs. So don't hesitate, this is a great time to buy. To learn more about Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, go to homeloansbyfairway.com. Welcome back. Another smile came here from Martin Dentistry. It'll be the Science Hill cheerleaders. 
We're flashing the smiles here. Thank you to Martin Dentistry for hopping on for tonight's game to sponsor our first ever smile cam here on Friday Night Rivals. Right now, those cheerleaders have a lot to be happy about. Yes, they do. 14 to 7. And so we have played four minutes, 10 seconds, and we've had three touchdowns. So a lot has happened if you just sat down and missed the first couple minutes of this game. Oh, Mr. Excitement himself. Number five, Tyler Moon. Moon. So now we'll see here Hayden Russell back. He's had a return he made to the 15-yard line to get Dobbins Bennett on the board. Then he had a hard time coming down with the second kickoff there. He actually fell on it, but the refs ruled it was Science Hill that had it. So we're going to have somebody else return this one here. And another decent return here for Dobbins Bennett out to around the 35-yard line. That was Jonathan Gillespie. Gillespie had an excellent return, just hit it up the right side there at the hash mark. I don't know if they wanted to click to Russell again or not, but excellent field position to start off. Dobbins Bennett will start at their own 36-yard line. Not as good as the Science Hill 15, but not bad field position for Jake Carson and the Indians. Four, eight and Dobbins. one on the season. Their only loss was a one-point loss to Greenville back on September the 23rd. Uh, late two-point conversion came up short for the Indians. First down, Jonathan Gillespie with the catch, trying to make a couple moves, pushing across very close to a first down. And then he is pushed out of bounds by Devin Medina. Yeah, I think it ran a little hitch route over there on that side. They gave him a little cushion. Carson got him the ball. Fought for a couple tough yards to move the chains. You can see just a glimpse right there, Gillespie, how explosive he is. They're going to say it's going to be second and very, very short for Dobbins. Bennett did not give him the first down. A little stingy over there. And it's going to be a handoff. They got the first down and then some right there is Braden Simpson. He's into Science Hill territory for Bank of Tennessee first down. Yeah, there's a really big hole over there on that right-hand side. Number 52, Brown and 76, Tebow open it up for him. Cut up field. No question about that first down. First and 10 for Dobbins Bennett at the Science Hill 43-yard line. 14-7, Science Hill on top already. A lot of fireworks in this one. Second time Dobbins Bennett's had the football. And four receivers here on first down. Carson going to check it down. And a, what a tackle there by Devin Medina. I don't know how he held on to the ball. I don't believe they gave him forward progress. That was Peyton Franklin that took that hard hit from Medina. That's a form tackle to a tee right there. Yeah, you can see he picked him up at the 40-yard line, planted him back about three yards. Excellent form tackle. It will only rush three that time. Linebacker walked up in there, but... Decided not to go. And Peyton Franklin going to head to the sidelines there. Five receivers here. They're spreading it out on second and nine. Carson got plenty of time to throw. Now he's going to decide to tuck it and run. He gets back maybe to the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, only rushed three that time. Nobody was open, so he decided to run. And, hey, they were able to tackle him right there at the line of scrimmage. Bryson Hill, number 51 for Science Hill with the tackle. Science Hill's running in and out. A fresh lineman and another defensive end coming in the game. Amua, number 34, and I believe 58, We're going in the game, and that's Smith. Third and nine for Dobbins Bennett from the Science Hill 43. Four receivers. Carson, plenty of time across the middle. It's complete to Hayden Russell. Russell taken down just shy of the 20-yard line. Big third and nine conversion for the Indians. Yeah, that was sort of a, a combination of a dig route post pattern together. Carson was able to find him there in the middle of the field. Good throw there by Jay Carson, able to step into that one. Good protection as well by the line. So a big third down conversion. First and 10 for the Indians. 
They're knocking on the door of the red zone here at the 22. Three receivers at the bottom of the screen. Be fake across the middle to the tight end. That's the quarterback's best friend, Keldon yep. Mullins. Yeah, straight straight down the field there real quick. It had a linebacker stunted in the middle, was picked up. Maybe opened up a little seam there to hit, hit him straight down, straight down the middle for a big first down. Bank of Tennessee first down puts Dobbins Bennett inside the Toyota red zone there. Keldon Mullins, the junior tight end, his first catch of the game. First and goal now. They're going to have two receivers. And we're going to get a penalty flag. And that's going to set Dobbins Bennett back five yards. Part offense. Play five yard play. penalty. Repeat first down. Who was it? Oh, that's a killer down there. Gives them a little more room to operate with a passing game, though. So now it's first and goal from the 11. There's Joey Christian in his fifth season as the head coach of Dobbins Bennett, 38 and 17. His record, his first win as the head coach of Dobbins Bennett came right here in 2018 against Science Hill. Carson going to throw it on first down, and that one, a little miscommunication between he and Gillespie. Yeah, that was the, I don't know what happened on that one, but there was a lot of pressure on the quarterback that time. They sent the outside linebacker. I think that was uh, Fig Yak there, number 21, coming off the corner. So second, second and goal from the 11, 413 remaining in the first quarter. Three receivers, tight end in there for Dobbins Bennett. It's going to be fake a handoff, throw to the right, and it's almost intercepted. It's caught by the offensive lineman. It, it was a, a first touch by the defensive lineman, and then the bounces off and goes into the offensive tackle's hands. I believe that was uh, Tebow, and then Tebow maybe went a yard or two. Yeah, Devin Medina, 42, is the one that got his hands up right here. He almost intercepted it. It goes right to the hands of big John Tebow, and then... Not only does Medina make the deflection, he also makes the tackle. <laughs> wow, what a play. Great camera work right there by our crew. Third and goal from the 10, so they're going to give him a yard on that play. Carson looking right, going to set up a screen here. It's complete. What a play call, and it's in for the touchdown. Yes, it is. Peyton Franklin. In for the touchdown, and coach, what a call on third and goal from the 10. Yeah, all that pressure been coming up there. They were coming again, set up a little screen pass, dumped it off. Lyman did an excellent job blocking and got into the end zone. Nice job there. Good to see Peyton Franklin back in the game. He was shaken up a bit after that hit by Devin Medina earlier. The lineman, one, did a good job not getting downfield too early. There's Titan Thomas in. The extra point is up and good, and we are tied at 14 between Dobbins Bennett and Science Hill on Friday Night Rivals. All right, now, folks, let's talk about the Blue Cross Bowl, December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd on the Tri-City CW right here. Nine state championship games in the state of Tennessee. The six public school games, December 2nd and 3rd. Of course, Dobbins, Bennett, Science still both in D16A. So if either one of these teams make it to Chattanooga, they would play the 7 o'clock game on December the 3rd. That would be the last of the nine games. Uh, last night, we had Hampton playing Daniel Boone, two state-ranked teams in different classifications. A great game. So those two teams also have aspirations of Chattanooga. And let's not forget about Greenville and Elizabethan. Oh, yeah, you got six teams in our area right here looking for a state championship this year. That last scoring drive for Dobbins Bennett, eight plays, 64 yards, took four minutes, 22 seconds off the clock as the Sky 5 drone flying here at Science Hill High School. You see Freedom Hall up above there by the tennis courts. ETSU basketball season will be starting next week. The men have an exhibition game next Friday so this is that time of the year where sports are starting to cross over here and Tyler Moon Mr. Electric 
Going to try and make something happen here on special teams, but again, Dobbins Bennett's had good coverage so far. Excellent Every coverage. Nobody was following anyone down the field. They kept their spacing and was able to make the tackle there about the 22-yard line. There's a three. There's a penalty flag that came out on the near the Dobbins Bennett sidelines. There are two players. That, Got a penalty. Oh. There are two players that were away from the football that were kind of helmet to helmet there, so that was where the flag came out from. Fifteen yard penalty. Well, 15 yard face mask penalty against Dobbins Bennett. Personal foul after the play was over. Face mask. Def uh, kicking team. Five yard, 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. So that's a free 15 yards. Dobbins Bennett gives up there to Science Hill. The Hilltoppers will start at the 37-yard line. Jay Sean Schwartz back in. Quarterback. The last series, they ran the Wildcat with Moon the entire time. So Schwartz, he was in for the first play, then he handed off to Moon and went 81 yards. And it's going to be Moon again to the left. And he's going to pick up about five yards. Yeah, they just uh, base running play with a lead blocker in front of me over on the left side. Got to push up front on that offensive line. Science Hill head coach Stacy Carter told me he really, really likes his offensive line. Kamal Redford, Kellen Hensley, Bryson Hill, Brody Barnett, Tristan Smith. He really likes that line and one of the best they've had here at Science Hill, he said, while he's been here. Marker. Yeah, I think we had offsides on DB that time. A linebacker was stunting from the outside. I believe that was uh, maybe Mullins. Gives him an easy five yards. It's going to be very close now to maybe second and one. Yeah, I think you got it right there. Maybe a short one. The Dobbins Bennett's giving up 20 yards in penalty here on this drive. 15 after the play there on the personal foul. And then an offside gives Science Hill five more yards. This time, Schwartz is going to keep it with the option pitch. They get the first down. That was Micah Dukes. First time we've called his name. Picks up a Bank of Tennessee first down. Yeah, they ran the option over to the wide side. Well, actually to the short side of the field into the boundary. They had DB's defense spread out with a passing formation. But they was able to come up and uh, make a stop. A little game, which gave them a first down. Just shy of midfield for Science Hill. This time it's going to be another option for Schwartz. He's going to keep it this time. Micah Dukes and Javin Chester were also in the backfield right there, and Schwartz kept it for the first time. Yeah, they didn't attack him really fast, so what he did, he strung it out just a little bit, was able to plant his outside foot, cut up field, and got good yardage on it. Tyler Moon has lined up a receiver the last couple plays. He's in the slot position this time over there on... On DB's sideline. He has 17 catches on the season for 326 yards, four touchdowns. He's averaging 19 yards a catch for Moon. That's going to be a first down for Science Hill. That'll be Stephen Fomoyan. Fomoyan on the outside. Did a little out pattern, I believe. Good protection. He's stepping up in the pocket and was able to throw the ball. You watch Moon there, everyone's got to kind of pay attention to Moon, and they go to the shallow receiver for Moyen. So Tyler Moon, even when he doesn't have the ball, he's such a weapon being a decoy because everyone has to know where he is at all times on the defense. And we've got another penalty marker here before first down. On this snap, false start, offense number 68. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot, replay first down. So that's a false start on big Kamel Redford, the 6'2 sophomore. First and 15 for Science Hill. 14-14, what a first quarter we've had so far. Can't believe we have three more quarters of this here. Yeah, total excitement. 
back up again. Science Hill sort of spreading things out. Two receivers, two backs. H back. Schwartz is going to pitch it this time to Javin Chester. He's going to get his first carry and not much going there for Javin came, Chester. Came up hard from the inside was Myers making a tackle that time. Lost yardage. Andrew Myers, number 24. Good pursuit. Brings down Javin Chester. So that's a loss of a yard on that one. Second and 16. Moon in the slot at the top of the screen. Under 30 seconds left in the first quarter. It's going to be Javin Chester across the 40. It's almost back to the original line of scrimmage. And that'll likely be the final play of the first quarter as we're down to 10 seconds left in the opening quarter. And what an entertaining 12 minutes it was here in Johnson City. 14-14. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back for the second quarter on Friday Night Rivals. Life can be a lot sometimes, but at Holston Medical Group, our primary care providers are here through it all, whether it be a routine checkup or something unexpected. Because at HMG, we're here for you through every stage of life with the best primary care and support. Whether it's you or the people you love most, choose a primary care provider you can rely on. Choose HMG, your health partner for life. Now accepting new patients. It was awesome to see what it can really do. That was the most intense experience I've ever had. At a recent off-road event, real Toyota Tundra owners found out just how capable the new Tundra is. I had no idea these could do what it did. With 437 horsepower and available multi-terrain selected crawl control, Tundra can go anywhere and do anything. This truck was born for this. I am probably a Tundra owner for life at this point. I'm very impressed. The more you know, the more you'll drive Toyota. Let's go places. At Bank of Tennessee, it's our job to help you focus on the happy moments and check off the things on your to-do list to make them happen. The food, the setup, and if you bought enough flowers. So you can worry about what they're going to think. What in the world are they going to think? What your mom will say. And if you remember the dance you practiced a million times. We're here along the way so you can pull off the happiest moments in life. Bank of Tennessee in the business of happiness. Do you know what's scary? Over half of Americans have no dental insurance. That's why we've developed the Martin Membership Plan, a simple and affordable option for patients without dental insurance. Unlike dental insurance, there are no deductibles, annual maximums, waiting periods, claim denials, or pre-approvals, and your benefits start as soon as you sign up. The minute you enroll, you'll save 30% off of our preventative services and 15% off of other services and products. Give us a call, 423-247-8172. Toyota's Friday Night Rivals, presented by Holston Medical Group. Welcome back to Science Hill. We start the second quarter. It's a third and 11 for Science Hill from the Dobbins-Bennett 37-yard line. Two receivers, two backs. Jayshon Schwartz is going to roll out to the left and throw in here. He's got a man. It's Tyler Moon caught at the 25. Moon inside the 20, down inside the 5-yard line. He's brought down on the play by George Evans. Yeah, I think we'll see Moon come out of the backfield this time. The quarterback a little bootleg around. And I don't know how Moon gets open on a smash route, but he is open. Ex excellent coverage there to, to save a saving tackle, I might say. Inside the Toyota red zone is Science Hill first and goal. Now Moon's going to be in the Wildcat here. Just had that big catch. It'll be a direct snap to number five. He drops the ball and he falls on it. So he dropped it, but smart move just to fall on it. Not try and yeah. pick it up. Yeah, I think he pointed to himself. There's my fault. Slipped through my hands. Should have had that. See, Moon falls on it at the 10. So I think they lost almost five yards on that play. Same formation here. Moon in the Wildcat. He's going to hand it off on second down and going nowhere. That Dobbins Bennett front, and that's Micah Dukes for a loss. So DB's defense stepping up here with their backs against the wall. 
You know, Simpson stunted from the outside that time as a linebacker position, caught him in the backfield. So now we can see Side Seal changing her offense. They're going to spread it back out again. That was Tony Simpson, the first one in there for Dobbins Bennett. Third and goal. Science Hill's going the wrong way. They had first and goal at the five. Now it's third and goal from the 13. Schwartz back in a quarterback. And they got some pressure in his face, and he's going to try and run for it. And he's not going to go anywhere. Branson Carswell and a couple of his friends bring him down for a loss of two. Yeah, it's excellent defense that time. When the coverage, I think they were trying to get Moon coming back inside, like on a bubble screen over there on the right hand side. The defense smelled it out. You can see it over here on the replay. Got him covered, then they attacked the quarterback. Loss on the play. So you got to be, DB has to be happy with that defense. Max Turin will come in now to attempt the field goal. This will be a 32 yard field goal for Turin. The junior trying to give Science Hill the lead again. That kick is up, and that is good. Nice kick there by Max Turin. Makes it 17 14 Science Hill on Toyota's Friday Night Rivals. <laughs> it's Ford Truck Month at Friendship Ford in Bristol. Don't pay over MSRP. Order your new F 150 from Friendship and get a free $500 gas card and $500 toward accessories. Nobody beats Friendship Ford of Bristol. We're dealing. Take us out for a hot dog. Take us out for some pals. Give us that chili, mustard, onion, and meat. All dressed up and ready to eat. Let us root, root, root for the pals team. Their hot dogs make our day. For it's one, two, three bites, they're gone. Now that's a triple play. Wow, guys, uh, never heard that one before. Grab a hot dog from pals today. Great food in a flash. At Friendship Hyundai, we have over 150 new Hyundais for sale, and we're turning the clock back on prices. New 22 Santa Fe is only $23.9, all with three years free maintenance and a lifetime warranty. Nobody beats Friendship Hyundai of Bristol and Johnson City. We're dealing. Dentistry smile cam. We've seen Dave Dirks. We've seen the cheerleaders. Now the dance team at Science Hill flashing their smiles here on the Mark Dentistry smile cam. A lot to smile about for both teams so far tonight. A very entertaining game here in the first half. It's 17-14. Science Hill on top of Dobbins Bennett. We played just over two minutes in the opening quarter. That was a 10-play drive, 56 yards, five minutes off the clock, ending with a max turn 32-yard field goal. A high short kick for Turin. Dobbins Bennett's going to get good field position. Andrew Myers, I believe, was the one that came down with that one. Maybe a little extracurricular activity over there. I think so. We I think we got a flag over there. What was that? What was it? There, unnecessary roughness. Defeat, kicking team number 29. That's a 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. So a 15 yard penalty against Science Hill after the end of the play there. That was Zane Huff that got called for it, number 29 for Science Hill. So another 15 yards. Both teams have given up some free yardage on penalties. So now Dobbins Bennett's going to start this drive in Science Hill territory at the 46 yard line. It's going to be a handoff on first down. That Science Hill front gives up about three, maybe four yards. That was Peyton Brooks, his first carry of the game for the Indians. Yeah, I think Marsh was in on the tackle and necessary right there in the middle and heel. They clogged it up. He was able to get a little push there forward, forward body length, pick up about three. Dobbins Bennett rotates those backs, whether it's Simpson, Franklin, now Brooks. Sides Hills doing the same thing in the middle there with their defense. Yeah, 
very balanced ground game for Dobbins Bennett. You got a stoppage. Got a whistle over here on this sideline. They're looking at something down here in the corner. Uh, what's going on? Oh, I know what it is. I bet it's those lights down there in the end zone. the Dobbins Bennett running backs there are very much a running by committee team Braden Simpson the leading rusher 595 yards Peyton Franklin's 447 Peyton Brooks is 301 so very balanced nobody has more than 57 carries in nine games of the running back uh, so they're very balanced and spread out yeah it's averaging eight nine ten yards a carry not sure what this delay is the referee talking to one of the officials on the side off it's maybe with the play clock the, the game clock is running right now so they might be taking some time off maybe the clock didn't start they ran it down to 923 and stopped it Yeah, they're checking on to see what it was. The winner of this game will win the Region 1 6 8 championship. Both of these teams unbeaten in region play. Just adding to this rivalry, the 101st meeting between Dobbins Bennett and Science Hill. Clock to 923. 923. Clock failed to start. Be first to nine. Second down, 10. All right, so thank you for the update there. Larry Hutchinson, the referee, saying the clock did not start there, so they reset it to 923. It'll be second and six. Ball's at the 42 yard line of Science Hill. It's going to be Brooks again. He's got some running room. Peyton Brooks is going to take this one all the way in for the touchdown. Yeah, he did an excellent job hanging on to the ball right there at the goal line. He's trying to, defensive guy tried to strip him. Hung on to it tight. Peyton Brooks, the senior, breaking off a 42-yard touchdown run here to give Dobbins Bennett the lead back at 20 to 17. And you're right, coach, almost got that one knocked out there, but he kept it strong. Titan Thomas. In for the extra point. It is up. It is good. Dobbins Bennett goes back in front. 21-17. We'll be right back on Friday Night Rivals. It was awesome to see what it can really do. That was the most intense experience I've ever had. At a recent off-road event, real Toyota Tundra owners found out just how capable the new Tundra is. I had no idea these could do what it did. With 437 horsepower and available multi-terrain selected crawl control, Tundra can go anywhere and do anything. This truck was born for this. I am probably a Tundra owner for life at this point. I'm very impressed. The more you know, the more you'll drive Toyota. Let's go places. Life can be a lot sometimes. But at Holston Medical Group, our primary care providers are here through it all. Whether it be a routine checkup or something unexpected. Because at HMG, we're here for you through every stage of life with the best primary care and support. Whether it's you or the people you love most, choose a primary care provider you can rely on. Choose HMG, your health partner for life. Now accepting new patients. We go here, the final week of the regular season in Northeast Tennessee. Dobbins Bennett on top, 21-17, early in the second quarter. The Sky 5 drone powered by Empire Ford flying high above Kermit Tipton Stadium. And Steve Spurrier Field, Keith Roberts, Jason Hutchinson flying the drone for us once again. And we were very, very fortunate this year. Uh, Ten games, only one ring game. That was down at South Green a month ago for the Hampton game. It rained the entire game. We were down there, so that was the only game we weren't able to fly the drone this year. Excellent weather to close out the season this year. Titan Thomas is going to kick it off from the 40. Kick this one deep, and this one's going to go into the end zone. That's how you keep it away from Tyler Moon. Time again now for a Mark Dentistry smile cam. We've got some Science Hill fans. 
Smile for the camera, boys. You're on TV. First and 10 for Science Hill from their own 20-yard line. 9.05 left in the first half. Schwartz going to hand this one off. The Dobbins been a defense coach. They're starting to make a little better headway in the ground game. Yeah, that was an excellent up front uh, defense. Just held the offensive line where they was. No, no place at all for the back to run. Coming up on the outside, making a the tackle there. Just sitting there, reading his keys. Number 54 that time for DB, making a tackle on the outside. Pick up a one there, second down. This time, Schwartz is going to keep it. Then a late pitch, and the ball is on the ground. And they're going to say an incomplete pass. The referee there waved his incomplete. Oh, he went forward. So that'll be third and eight. So they want the fumble on the play. It's an incomplete pass. All right, so they say the pass went forward, so it's incomplete. Sets up third and eight for Science Hill. And after that big catch there by Moon, very fortunate for Science Hill that that was a forward pass. Science Hill's offense sputtering a bit late. Dobbins bringing some pressure. And Javin Chester's going to catch it. He's got to get out to the 30, and he's going to be short. Yeah, a little, uh, I think he was trying to go deep down the sideline. And then that was his dump off there. Number 23 over out in the flats. Chester got all he could get out of it, but still come up short. So it's going to be fourth and time to punt. I think this will be the first punt of the game for either team. You know, I was looking at a stat, and I believe Science Hill's only punted like 17 times all year. That tells you something about their offense. Got backed up here, so they're going to have to punt. There's a three and out. Dobbins Bennett not rushing. They're going to try and set up a return. They're going to have good field position again. Here will the Indians. They're going to start again in Science Hill territory. That was Hayden Russell. And he did a good job catching the ball because if you let it drop and it bounces on this turf, it could go another 10 yards the other way. Yeah, that, that was a low kick. He was able to get it and, and go forward there for a couple yards. A really smart play on his part, just like you said. You don't want that ball hitting the turf because on the turf it bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah. So Dobbins Bennett has the ball back. They got some momentum on their side after they led 7 to nothing early, but... After that, Science Hill came back, scored the next two touchdowns. So Dobbins Bennett, they have a chance. They score here, have a two-possession two lead. Something neither team has had so far tonight. First down, handoff. That ball's out. Jay Carson's going to fall on it, though. Braden Simpson coughed it up, and Jay Carson falls on it. Yeah, that was tough, trying to run straight up the middle there. Must have got punched out. Yeah, I got punched out on the tackle. Coming from that left, uh, right defensive end, coming down hard there. Joey Christian is reminding Braden Simpson ball security is very important. Maybe a loss of four. And we'll say five, second and 15. Carson's going to throw it instead of a wide receiver screen on the outside. Jonathan Gillespie breaks a couple tackles, and he fumbles the ball. That was Devin Medina that came out and stripped it, and it's recovered by Science Hill. I'll tell you what, Devin Medina is everywhere, number 42 on defense. Hey, got his arm in there. The ball comes out. They would have had a first down down on about the, their own 35-yard uh, line. Still, Science Hill uh, was able to get on it quick. Now their offense is back on the field. 6.44 left here in the second quarter. Emmett Watson was the one who recovered the ball, but that was all Devin Medina. Watch 42 with a chop right there. Pops the ball, and then Emmett Watson falls on it, and Science Hill's offense back on the field, and we got a penalty marker. Ball start. Offense number 48. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. That was a false start on the tight end, Ben O'Daniel, for Science Hill. 
Yeah, usually when that ref throws the flag in there before the snap of the ball, it's somebody on the offensive line move. So that backs the ball to the 31 yard line. First and 15. Schwartz is going to keep it up the middle. Jay Sean Schwartz taken down a, close to a first down, not quite, but George Evans on the tackle, but he picked up about 12. Yeah, ex excellent run. I think that was a design play. Off the right side over there, we'll see it. Yeah, that, that was designed all the way. A hard tackle there by George Evans. Second and three. Schwartz going to throw it, looking for Tyler Moon out in the flat. Now he's under pressure, and Schwartz going to have to throw it away. And how did Moon catch that one? I thought he was throwing it away. Hey, the defensive back turned his head just long enough after he threw the ball. Moon, I don't know how he had that much room on the sideline, but he was able to get his feet inbounds. Another first down. What a player. I thought Schwartz was just trying to throw this one away, but... Nice back shoulder throw right there to Tyler Moon. And a first down for Science Hill. We're going to get a handoff to Micah Dukes. Dukes down toward a 35, and Hayden Russell sends him out of bounds. Yeah, Russell come up and laid a hit over there on that sideline from his safety position. Dukes is a big guy running down through there. I think we had a penalty, though. There might have been a hold against Science Hill, I believe, Coach. Yeah, I think they might have called it on the end over here, or, or the left tackle. Got around the corner awful easy there. Um, we have holding on 51 offense. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. That's actually uh, playing left guard or left tackle one. They, they switch in and out. A lot of movement around there. I think he's playing left guard. That's Bryson Hill, the junior. So that'll back up. Science Hill into their own territory. Schwartz going to keep it here on first down. Not a ton going there for Jay Sean Schwartz. Yeah, once again, I think McVay thought he was held that time. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be the first for him. be second and 11 this time yeah they just got across midfield second and 11 from the 49 jab and chester the tailback beside schwartz schwartz gonna try and throw it and he's going down a sack for the dobbins bennett defense oh yeah that excellent coverage in the secretary secondary nowhere to throw the ball and he was trying i think maybe to hit chester out there in the flats as the last last option but the defense was able to get on top of him at that time. I think that McVay is there on the, on the sack. Yeah, Nicholas McVay. Maybe Banks 53 was in there too as well. And also Christopher Harris, number 64. He was the game we did about six weeks ago between David Crockett and Dobbins Bennett. Christopher Harris was everywhere on defense for Dobbins Bennett. Under five minutes to go in the first half, third and 15 for Science Hill. It looks like we are going to get a timeout by the Hilltoppers. And we'll take a timeout as well. 21-17, Dobbins Bennett over Science Hill on Friday Night Rivals. Toyota and your local Toyota dealer are combining resources to support our area high schools. We stand together as community partners for our high school athletes and their families to help schools and students get the most out of their high school years. Toyota is proud to join News 5 WCYB, Fox 39 WEMT, and Tri-City CW to provide each host team with a charitable donation to their school. Proudly presented by Toyota and your local Toyota dealer. Tonight's donation goes to the Science Hill Hilltoppers. Thank you to Science Hill, Keith Turner, everybody here at Science Hill for hosting us tonight here. The Sky Fire drone powered by Empire Ford flying above Kermit Tipton Stadium, Steve Spurrier Field, and Freedom Hall there in the background. Beautiful night for high school football. The final Friday in October. 
playoffs next week. And, Coach, we know this. No matter what happens tonight, both of these teams will be at home next week for round one of the playoffs. The question is, who's the one seed? Who's the two? Exactly. And the home field advantage in the playoffs, uh, nothing better to happen to you come the 1st of November. I think we must have had another timeout. Yes, back-to-back -back timeouts for Science Hill. So that's not something you see very often, but if it's going to happen, you'd probably rather have it be in the first half than the second half. Yeah, you want to save those for the fourth quarter. So Stacy Carter talking to his offense after back-to-back -back timeouts. I think he must have had a missed alignment for the play. So one timeout left for Science Hill here. Third down. We'll try to get it all. Get enough to maybe have a, a short fourth down. But I think they're going to punt. If they don't make it, I think they'll punt. Try to pin DB back deep. Or you can tell Stacy Carter was not happy with having that. Those timeouts called back to back there. Third and 15. There's Joey Christian. It actually ends up being trip, so on the right hand side this time, got the tight end there. Uh, he's covered up. They can't get the seam pass. They're going to rush four there. Schwartz going deep, looking for Moon. There's some contact. Comes the flag. Yeah, he's running stride for stride down the sideline, but didn't have his head turned around there that time. That was number. That's uh. That's Nigel Badell. Badell, yeah, yeah. Nigel Badell, number 20. And you can see he's got a big cast on one of his, I believe it's his left hand. That was third and 15, so that'll be... They're going to have to step it off here because it may not be... It's going to be really close. Yeah, I don't, it's not an automatic first down in high school. Watch here again. Badell just kind of pushes him down there. Yeah, it's his left hand. Look at that big cast he has on his left hand. So they're going to have to yeah, step this off here. And yeah, if officials are talking about it, make sure they get it correct. Again, it's a 15-yard penalty, but it is not an automatic first down in high school pass interference. If he's on the line, I, I think it just from looking at the sticks, it's going to be. That's interference defense. That's a 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Number 20, first down. Yes, yeah. and they got they need to 15 and they got 15. The nose of the ball is right there, so they'll move the sticks and that'll be a first down. There they go. You see at the top of the screen. So Powell's sudden service first down and a big one there on third and 15. Get the pass interference. Going back to spread them out. Looks like another pass. Of three receivers to the top of the screen. Moon's the one in the slot. And they're gonna hand it off to Javin Chester. Chester cuts it back down, down close to the 25. Excellent run over here on the outside. Uh, getting up the sideline there was getting great blocking. Brought the tight end over to this side. Uh, that time, O'Daniel. Chester was able to cut it up, cut back inside. Big first down for him on the 25 yard line. Uh, yeah, I don't think he got set that time. Might have been O'Daniel, the tight end, just to do a great block to play before. I don't think he's coming out of the ball game now. 48, offense. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot, spot, first down. Good call, Coach. It was Ben O'Daniel with the false start. Yeah, Medina checked in this time. So got a new tight end into the game. Going to change their formation. They have three receivers this time. Moon in the slot at the top of the screen. Chester is beside Schwartz. They're going to hand it off to Chester, and he's going to get maybe one yard. That front of Dobbins Bennett led by Braylon Banks right there at the tackle. Yeah, Harris came in there, and Banks. No, no gain on that play. Play maybe a little less than a yard. Your science hill here, 335 and counting. You're not in really any hurry here to punch this one in. 
No, they'd like for that clock to run. They're going to hand it off. No, Schwartz going to keep it this time, trying to dance a little bit, but nowhere to go. That's Andrew Myers. Yeah, Myers got him from the inside, and Simpson broke down to make the tackle. When he cut back in, Myers come over top of him. You see him fake to the back here, then he's a run to the outside. Boom. Two Indians made a good stop that time. Third and 14. The last third down was third and 15. They had the pass interference call to get the first down. So now it's third and 14. You see what Stacey Carter dials up here under three minutes to go now in the first half. Got single coverage up at the top. DB's bringing some pressure here. Schwartz going to throw it away, and it's caught by Tyler Moon. He got about half the distance, maybe a little more than half, just inside the 20. So if you're Stacey Carter now, do you bring in turn for the field goal, or do you go for it here on fourth and four? He's got he's got a timeout left. I, th I think they're going to – now they're coming out to kick it. They're going to kick it. We want to get some points on the board. They trust their field goal kicker. So they got 11 yards there on third down. So Max Turin now will come in. This will be a 36-yarder. He made a 32-yarder. Great angle here, as you'll see. They just got that off in time. The clock, that kick is up, and that is good. Max Turin, two for two field goals, makes it 21-20. We'll be back on Friday Night Rivals. Does your company need to hire more than 10 new employees and you can't find qualified candidates? Are staffing needs keeping you from meeting the demand for your products or services? Human resource directors, let us fill your open positions. Our solutions can be tailored to all industries and businesses, small and large, manufacturing, healthcare, warehousing, transportation, construction, and more. Combining the power of television with targeted digital solutions, WCYB will speak directly to the candidates you need, wherever you need them. We'll showcase why you are an employer of choice. We send qualified candidates directly to your application portal from the Tri-Cities or nationwide, or for any other locations you may have throughout the country. Call WCYB today, or use the on-screen QR code to connect directly with us. We're ready to relieve your staffing needs today. Coming up with the Friendship Jeep Halftime Report, we'll have a performance from the Science Hill Band, HMG's Heart of the Town. We'll also hear from the Tennessee Army National Guard and more. That's coming up on the Friendship Jeep Halftime Report. That last drive for Science Hill, nine plays, 57 yards with a 36-yard field goal by Max Turin. So now it's 21-20, Dobbins Bennett on top of Science Hill. So we're able to kick off. The Indians, Hayden Russell. Russell across the 35. Hayden Russell's had some nice returns so far. None better than that first one. Coming up in the fourth quarter, we'll have our Toyota drive of the game. We've had a lot of drives here in the first half, and the way this game's going, the drive of the game may not happen until the fourth quarter. Yeah, if you, if you like offense, this is the place to be tonight. Minute 46. DP's got excellent field position. All three timeouts uh, leading by one. We're going to see the ball in the air here. That is an eternity, 146. The clock stops for first downs. And then you throw in three timeouts as well. So time, not a big factor right now for Dobbins Bennett on first down from their own 38. That's going to be a handoff on first down. Science Hills defense not budging much. There is Peyton Franklin, no game. Yeah, that was a little surprise there. I guess they was trying to catch uh, Science Hills defense off guard, but they didn't. Over there on that uh, right-hand side, coming up strong on the outside. The linebacker Medina, maybe O'Daniel at defensive end. So 118 and counting. Dobbins Bennett lost a yard there to give him second and 11. Now they're going to go five receivers for Jay Carson. And I think we had a false start there. Yeah, Science Hill was dropping eight in pass coverage that time, only rushing three. And one of the offensive linemen, I think, moved. Yeah, that's uh, the snap. 
false start. Offense, 55. That's a five-yard penalty from the previous spot. We play second down. Yeah, it looked like Comp the left, uh, left guard right there moved. Just had to nudge. But that referee sitting in the middle looking for that. There's Ralph Nelson, the defensive coordinator at Science Hill. He's been here with Stacy Carter all 13 years. Looks like they might be sending a backer this time from the outside. Well, under a minute remaining here. Carson under pressure on second down. He throws that incomplete, and there weren't a whole lot of eligible receivers around that football. Yeah, I think he uh, was trying to just get rid of that. He did a little loop there. The defensive end went inside, and the tackle looped outside. Put pressure on uh, Carson that time. Wasn't able to throw it. Couldn't find an open receiver. Might be the discussion. I wonder if they're about intentional grounding. I did not see an eligible receiver here, but I think they're going to say play on here. So it's going to be third and 16 now for Dobbins Bennett. 49 seconds left. Toppers might use their timeout after this play. They empty out the backfield. Carson, he's going to throw it across the middle. It's caught by Russell. He's short of the first down. So now this is going to be real interesting what each coach decides to do here. I mean, Joey Christian probably doesn't want to go too fast in case they don't pick it up here. And Stacey Carter doesn't want to call the timeout to allow Dobbins Bennett more time to think about it here. So they're just going to let the clock wind down here. D DB might just... Uh, um, Would you wait till about maybe four seconds left, call a timeout, and just try a, a long Hail Mary or something? I think the play clock and the game clock, there's like three seconds or two seconds difference. Now Stacy Carter, I believe, called a timeout. We'll take a timeout here on Friday Night Rivals. I'm Rebecca Pepin. Casey Getz and Kristen Kwan are joining me for your evening newscast with live reports and in-depth stories from around our region. We look forward to bringing local news into your home every day. going to heave this one deep for Teddy Orton and he catches it for the touchdown. Watch a pass here, a halfback pass wide open. Holston, that is going to be going. That's Jonathan Gillespie and I don't think anybody's going to catch number 88. In motion, they fake it to him. Jones across the middle. It is cut for the touchdown. Dante Worley. Catch the biggest plays and the final scores on Friday Night Huddle with News 5 Sports' Heather Williams every Friday after News 5 tonight at 11. Friday Night Huddle is sponsored by Ingalls, Hardee's, and Champion Chevrolet. All right, so Science Hill called that timeout. Seven seconds left. Dobbins Bennett sending the punting team in. Science Hill not really having anybody back to field this one here, so... That punt is away, and that'll likely end the first half here as they see nobody back for Science Hill. The clock is at zero, and that'll end the first half. So once they officially touch it, all right, so that officially ends the first half. 21-20, Dobbins Bennett on top of Science Hill. I mean, we had three touchdowns in the first five minutes of this game early on. Settled in a little bit in the second half, second quarter. Have 21-20 at the break and we're gonna hopefully catch up with Joey Christian the head coach of Dobbins Bennett before we start the halftime show here coach got to make his way across the field and he's on his way we can see him appreciate coach having to make the trip you can see him on the drone there running across the field so an excellent first half. Everything you would expect for the 101st meeting between Dobbins Bennett and Science Hill. It should be in store for a heck of a second half. As we're getting Coach mic'd up, ready to go. Coach, appreciate you coming over to the far side of the field. What were your thoughts of that first quarter? Three touchdowns in the first five minutes of the game. <laughs> well, I tell you what, that's... Uh... There was a lot happening there. A lot of special teams uh, in in, uh, in a succession there. 
But, you know, listen, we fumbled there. I think uh, I don't – what y'all see? I didn't see that. I didn't see them recover it. Did you? <laughs> uh, we did not. Okay, I didn't either. Uh, I've expressed that to them as well. But, anyway, you know, we, we made a bad play there. Gave them something. You know, they started out and, you know, Tyler mooned us down the field. So, uh, you know, but at least we were able to come back and get a – have a one-point lead here now. Coach, I think uh, you've got to be pleased with your defensive front there after they settled in there after, like you said, after those first two or three plays there. Yeah, yeah. After that first drive, I think our front's done good. We've been able to get a little pressure on the quarterback at time, but, you know, we're still going to have to find Tyler Moon. We got we got to recognize the formation. We got to recognize where Tyler Moon is in the formation. And uh, you know, if we do that, then you know at least we'll have our eyes right and, and, and be on the right guys. But you know, we, we just got to settle down and play a little bit of Dolphins minute football for sure. Coach, thank you. Best of luck in the second half. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Roll tribe. All right, that was Joey Christian. He's talking about wanting to know where Tyler Moon is. Well, there's the moon right there. The other moon tonight. Dolphins Bennett on top. The friendship Ford, friendship Jeep halftime report comes up after this. At Bank of Tennessee, it's our job to help you focus on the happy moments and check off the things on your to-do list to pull it all off, like finding the perfect soil mixture, the right pots, and a healthy inventory. So you can wonder what they'll think of the displays and if your green thumb will leave its mark on the community. We're here along the way so you can pull off the happiest moments in life. Bank of Tennessee, in the business of happiness. At Friendship Hyundai, we have over 150 new Hyundais for sale, and we're turning the clock back on prices. New 23 Sonatas, only $23.9, all with three years free maintenance and a lifetime warranty. Nobody beats Friendship Hyundai of Bristol and Johnson City. We're dealing. Your Kingsport Chamber is celebrating 75 years of excellence, and we invite you to join. Your membership provides valuable networking opportunities to grow relationships that will help your business be profitable with cost-effective marketing. Chamber memberships get you connected to the community, making your company one that has credibility and attracts new customers to your business. Join today. Call 423-392-8805 or visit kingsportchamber.org. Our commitment to customer satisfaction sets us apart. Every new Lexus comes with complete door-to-door -door service, including free pickup and delivery, Lexus loaner cars, and hand-washing your Lexus every time it's in for service. Buying a new vehicle is an important decision. A new Lexus from Lexus of Kingsport is a perfect choice. At Eastman Credit Union, we want to make your life easier. That's why we offer services like our mobile app that lets you transfer money and deposit checks on the go. Phone support and a live chat option on our website, available during normal business hours. And you can even switch to online statements to receive them straight to your email inbox every month. To sign up for online statements and learn more about all the perks of being an ECU member, just visit ecu.org slash easy. Back to the Friendship Jeep Halftime Report. Dobbins Bennett on top of Science Hill, 21 to 20. It's time now for Andrew McClung with the HMG Heart of the Town segment. Holston Medical Group's Heart of the Town. Welcome into this week's Holston Medical Group Heart of the Town. We're in Johnson City this week for our last Heart of the Town segment of the year. We're at Red Pig Barbecue, and I'm joined beside the owner, Melvin Bentley. Melvin, thank you for having me. Just kind of tell me a little bit about the history of this restaurant here. I appreciate you coming in today and visiting our restaurant. The restaurant has been here 67 years. I'm the third generation owner of the restaurant. We sell Carolina style pork. Everything we make is farm to table. All the ingredients we buy locally and everything is made here in house kind of talk about too i mean it's not very often you have a restaurant that's around 67 years in a community i mean this is what's been su success for this restaurant the success of the restaurant is just having awesome customers being in an awesome neighborhood being in an awesome town and just having good food talk about to the community here what does the community mean here in johnson city to this restaurant the community Obviously, it means a lot to our restaurant. Even, you know, during COVID, they still supported our restaurant. I never had to change uh, anything that we've done here. Uh, we tightened our belt just a little. Uh, but it is 
in, in my opinion, the customers on the restaurant. We're a restaurant for the people. Well, yeah, y'all are doing a pretty cool giveaway right now for the people, too. You're giving away a Ford Raptor, but it uh, might not be what people think, right? Obviously. No, it's a, it is a true Ford Raptor. It's a remote control car uh, that we're going to give away in December. We're going to give away two, actually. Uh, all you have to do to enter our drawing for our brand new Ford Raptor is make a purchase at the Red Pig and put your name in our bucket. So if somebody comes here to make a purchase, what do you recommend they should get here? What's your favorite meal to get here? Our, we sell more pork and twice baked potatoes than anything in this restaurant. But of course, we have pork, beef, chicken, deli sandwiches, salads. We have something for everyone. We even have something for the vegetarians and the, the vegans. Awesome. Well, you heard, Melvin, there's something for everyone here. And, hey, if you like pulled pork, this is the place to get it from. And you have a chance to win a Ford Raptor, too. So come check out Red Pig Barbecue here in Johnson City. Reporting with the Holston Medical Group, part of the town of Johnson City, I'm Andrew McClung. All right, Andrew, thank you so much. The Science Hill Band, they are set up, ready to go. Let's take a listen as they get ready to go here. That is the Science Hill Marching Band. We'll be back on the Friendship Jeep Halftime Report. All trophies and plaques for WCYB's Friday Night Rivals are provided by Eddie's Trophies and Gift Shop in Bristol. Eddie's Trophies also offers medals, plaques, acrylics, glass, and crystal pieces for your business, school, or sports team. That's Eddie's Trophy and Gift Shop online at eddiestrophies.com. How do they do that? How does Champion Chevrolet compete with the big cities like Nashville, Memphis, Knoxville, Chattanooga to sell more Chevys than any other Chevy dealer in the state of Tennessee? It's the customer service our team of employees provide to you, plus the massive selection, availability of income and inventory that sets us apart from our competition that made us Tennessee's number one Chevy dealer again for 21. Great products like the Silverado, Tahoe, Equinox, Blazer, and Trailblazer with transparent pricing makes your purchase experience seamless. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? Score big with an auto loan from Eastman Credit Union. From trucks to cars, 
and SUVs, ECU is the winning choice for all your auto loan needs. So what makes ECU the best? You can get a great low rate, financing terms to fit your budget, no payments for 90 days, and an extraordinary dividend year-end bonus. And best of all, you can apply completely online right now. Just visit ecu.org slash auto and step up your game today. Eastman Credit Union. Getting that perfect slice is satisfying, fulfilling, and rewarding too. But we don't do it for fun. We do it for fresh. Slice to order makes a sub above. For most families, saving enough money for a down payment to buy a home is difficult. We're the Tri-City Community Bank, and we understand. That's why we offer a no-down payment home loan for well-qualified applicants. Get your loan. Buy your home. Move in. We make it easy. And that's another reason why our bank is the home loan leader. Call, click, or come see us at the Tri-City Community Bank on Boone's Creek Road. The Tennessee Army National Guard. As always, we're glad to have the Tennessee Army National Guard with us during this uh, Friday Night Rivals high school season. Two teams on the field in their competition, uh, but we can relate that to some competition that happens within the uh, Army National Guard and not, I guess, the Army National Guard, but multiple National Guards that uh, you guys had an opportunity to experience in July. Oh, absolutely. It's a great question, Jim. And this is this was a unique time, a unique near, uh, year for Tennessee. So what we're, we're talking about these competitions, we call them the best warrior competitions. So soldiers from all over the state come together throughout the entire uh, 54 states and territories in the country, and, and they compete at their local level. They compete at their local unit. The winners then go on to their next higher, higher level at their brigades or MACOM level, compete there, and the winners continue on to the state level, then to the regional level, which for us is you look at it as like the Southeastern Conference or the SEC, and then the, the seven regions in the country all come back to a particular state and host the national competition. Well, Tennessee was selected to host the national competition this year. It was hosted right here in Tennessee, and we had two Tennessee soldiers competing in this national level competition. It, the uh, soldiers are tested on everything from physical fitness to mar marksmanship to road marching to land navigation, and it's a five-day event. And uh, the competitors averaged four hours of sleep a night, uh, rain, sun, heat, humidity, just absolutely brutal. And you talk about a spectacular and challenging event. It was one of the most special events I've ever had the, the honor to witness. And uh, we had two outstanding competitors, or we had uh, 14 total competitors. You have seven soldiers, seven NCOs, and the two winners are phenomenal. And they'll be representing the entire Army National Guard at the All-Army competition next month. Well, if that excites you, you ought to give the Army National Guard a uh, call. Uh, you can look us up here on uh, Browns Mill Road on State of Franklin at their office here. Give us a call or check us out online, and uh, we'd be more than happy to meet with you. And now for the Friendship Jeep Halftime Report, we're here with General Manager Chris Childs of Friendship Jeep. Chris, what do you guys have going on right now? You know, we got a, we got a lot of new car inventory showing up every day. Uh, we got 0% on select Jeeps, 0% on select Rams. We've got uh, extended terms for those cheaper payments on Renegades. We've got any new car that, you, that you're looking for, and they all come with a lifetime warranty. Uh, don't forget about Jeep Wave. We've got three years free maintenance on all new Jeeps uh, when, when you buy them new. And, and again, don't forget about, forget about our used car uh, uh, inventory. We've got over 120 used cars in stock, uh, a payment for every budget, um, a car for every person. And, you know, wintertime's coming yep. up, and Jeep is just probably one of the best things for four-wheel drive in that kind of conditions, right? Absolutely. You know, the Jeep, Jeep as a brand has, has kind of molded their self as the four-wheel drive industry leader, and uh, they, they, they can't be beat. You know, the four-wheel drive, they'll go anywhere. These guys, they go off-roading all the time, and they come back with all mud down the side. You know, they go down these deep ravines at Holston Lake. They're, they're loving life. Can't be beat. Now, for something fun, you were recently a good guy on the Yellowstone spot you guys did. I definitely was. What was it like having to act alongside a bull and get to ride one? Yeah, it, terrifying. I mean, absolutely terrifying. You know, it was a, it was like a 1,600-pound a bull. You know, they want me to ride it, and they said, just bring it over here. Well, that bull's going anywhere it wants to go at any particular time. But uh, it, it was definitely, it was a little, a, little, uh, t a little tension between us two, but we worked it out. We became friends. 
You're watching the Friendship Jeep Halftime Report. Anna, can you count to five without saying one or three? Sure, two, four, five. <laughs> That's right. Our big story is the two for five breakfast deal at Hardy's. You got me. I know, I did. Bite into our made from scratch biscuits today. How do they do that? How does Champion Chevrolet compete with the big cities like Nashville, Memphis, Knoxville, Chattanooga to sell more Chevys than any other Chevy dealer in the state of Tennessee? It's the customer service our team of employees provide to you, plus the massive selection, availability of income and inventory that sets us apart from our competition that made us Tennessee's number one Chevy dealer again for 21. Great products like the Silverado, Tahoe, Equinox, Blazer, and Trailblazer with transparent pricing makes your purchase experience seamless. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? ETSU is you. ETSU is adventurous and distinctive and inclusive. ETSU is passionate. Together, we create a place where community is family. Your passion, your future, your purpose. ETSU is you. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion, obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. Your Kingsport Chamber is celebrating 75 years of excellence and we invite you to join. Your membership provides valuable networking opportunities to grow relationships that will help your business be profitable with cost-effective marketing. Chamber memberships get you connected to the community, making your company one that has credibility and attracts new customers to your business. Join today. Call 423-392-8805 or visit kingsportchamber.org. Recognize our scholar athletes, celebrating excellence in academics and athletics. Each week, News 5 WCYB in partnership with Hardee's is honoring one student athlete from each school involved with Friday Night Rivals for their achievements on and off the field. This week's winner from Science Hill is Ben O'Daniel. The football player has a 4.3 GPA, earned a 28 on the ACT, and is also an all-conference player as a junior. From Dobbins Bennett, we honor Jake Carson. He carries a 4.19 GPA. Carson is a two-year starter on the football team off the field. He's involved with the National Honor Society and volunteers at his church. All Hardy Scholar athletes have the opportunity to compete for a $5,000 scholarship to be awarded at the end of the season. You're watching the Friendship Jeep Halftime Report. All right, welcome back. It's time for first half highlights. And we've had highlights from the opening kickoff. Coach Hayden Russell fielded yeah, the ball in his own 10, went all the way to the Science Hill 15. Yeah, he hit it up the sideline there after going up the hash mark. And then he finishes off with a touchdown catch on a third and goal play. Yeah, Carson was able to hit him in the back of the end zone. And then Tyler Moon, your man. Yeah, first play from scrimmage, 80 yards for a touchdown. So that tied it at seven, and we were just minutes into the game here. Then we had a bit of a controversial play right here. The referees ruled that Science Hill recovered that ball, even though Hayden Russell came up with it. Science Hill took advantage, and they went a 14 to seven on the moon. Wildcat, then another third down. This is a screen pass that Dobbins Bennett had to Peyton Franklin. That tied it at 14. Max Turin. A 32-yard field goal puts Science Hill back in front, but then here comes Dobbins Bennett. Yeah, Brooks with a run, just busted off the left side there all the way to the end zone. Tried to get stripped right there at the end of it. All right, we'll be back on the Friendship Jeep Halftime Report. How do they do that? How does Champion Chevrolet compete with the big cities like Nashville, Memphis, Knoxville, Chattanooga, to sell more Chevys than any other Chevy dealer in the state of Tennessee. It's the customer service our team of employees provide to you, plus the massive selection, availability of income and inventory that sets us apart from our competition that made us Tennessee's number one Chevy dealer again for 21. Great products like the Silverado, Tahoe, Equinox, Blazer, and Trailblazer 
With transparent pricing, makes your purchase experience seamless. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? The grand opening sales event is going on now at the all-new Kia of Johnson City. New Kia Rio, $249 per month. New Kia K5, $359 per month. New Kia Telluride, $499 per month. We want to see you in a Kia. Turn the equity in your home into cash and get a better home loan in the process. With a 100% cash out home refi loan from the Tri-City Community Bank. We'll pay you the difference between your current mortgage balance and your home's appraised value. And that's another reason why our bank is the home loan leader. Call, click, or come see us at the Tri-City Community Bank on Boone's Creek Road. Take us out for a hot dog. Take us out for some pals. Give us that chili, mustard, onion, and meat. All dressed up and ready to eat. Let us root, root, root for the pals team. Their hot dogs make our day. For it's one, two, three bites, they're gone. Now that's a triple play. Wow, guys, I uh, never heard that one before. Grab a hot dog from pals today. Great food in a flash. <laughs> it's Ford Truck Month at Friendship Ford in Bristol. Don't pay over MSRP. Order your new F-150 from Friendship and get a free $500 gas card and $500 toward accessories. Nobody beats Friendship Ford of Bristol. We're dealing. Welcome back. Head coach Stacey Carter, Science Hill. Joining us, coach, thanks for staying with us through the break here. How do you assess your team's performance in the first half down a point? Well, pretty, pretty sloppy. We did some things we uh, we shouldn't have did. It was so uh, special teams were really, you know, we didn't cover very well on that kickoff, and uh, you know, put us put ourselves in some bad situations. So uh, we got to clean up the penalties, and uh, you know, the the stuff that we were doing that we can clean up, I, and I think we can do it uh, this half. I, I really believe we can, but I think we didn't play very well at all that half. Well, coach, you have to be pleased with Tyler Moon's performance in the first half. He's played well all year. Just proud of him. He's an outstanding athlete. Just got to get him the balls in different ways and see what he can do. Coach, thank you for your time, and best of luck in the second half. Thank you, guys. All right, that's Stacey Carter, head coach of Science Hill. His team down a point here, 21-20, to 20, as we're getting ready to start the third quarter. The band also having senior day, so they're just taking off the field here. So the clock was reset to three minutes for the teams to the three-minute stretching period. There is we'll be getting ready for the third quarter to begin here momentarily and again a entertaining very entertaining first half let's look at a, some defensive plays for science hill They're under center now and as the big plays early there from that defensive front the toppers some big hits there's devin medina he's been everywhere number 42 there's a sack of Jake Carson. The defensive line's really got after it in the first half here for Science Hill. Right, at, right in the middle, the, the big man Hill, number 51. He seems like he's always around the football if they run it anywhere close to him. All right, now Dobbins Bennett also, of course, their defense. Early on, maybe got punched in the mouth there. There's first couple of plays, but they really seem to settle in there in the latter part of the second quarter that defensive front imposing their will a little bit letting those linebackers run sideline to sideline a lot of big plays by the linebackers on, bo on both sides tonight you see right there uh, coming up out of the, the secondary Carson Wells the linebacker and mirrors both all right so there's Joey Christian let's see what Message he relayed to his team with a one-point lead and, of course, region championship on the line for the winner of this game. And depending on what happens in Region 2, uh, Maryville, Bradley Central playing tonight. What happens there will have an impact on who both of these teams end up playing next week in the first round of the playoffs. Science Hill will receive the opening kickoff of the second half. Titan Thomas underway. And this one is going to be returnable by Tyler Moon. He didn't have much room to go. And again, Dobbins Bennett, their coverage team has been excellent. Yes, excellent. Everyone stayed in their lanes. No one was behind each one. Nowhere to run. Gang tackling. Got to start inside the 20-yard line on this uh, on this possession. 
Sky 5 drone powered by Empire Ford. Thank you to Keith Roberts, Jason Hutchinson flying once again for us tonight. Kermit Tipton Stadium. Beautiful shot here as we're underway in the third quarter. Science Hill will start from their own 19 yard line. First down, it's going to be a handoff to Moon. He's going to pick up about four. Yeah, you can see Banks coming in there making the stop. Number 53 that time, down tackle position. One of the few times, really other than I think the first play of the game, we didn't see Tyler Moon a ton as the running back. He was either Wildcat or out in the receiver, and they got him lined up as the running back to start the second half here. And Schwartz is going to keep it on second down. He's going to be very close to a first down. I think he's going to be one yard shy here. Some first half stats. Entertaining half, total yards, Science Hill with the edge. Also, first downs, time of possession, but Dobbins Bennett with the edge on the scoreboard. Yeah, I think you, uh, you always like to have the edge on the scoreboard, but that tells you something if you look at that offense of rushing the ball. 156 yards rushing by Science Hill. They're going to keep it on the ground here in this short yardage situation. That's going to be Moon in the Wildcat on third and one. He's going to break it outside. Tyler Moon has some room to go. The sideline is another defender. John Gillespie brings him down for a Bank of Tennessee first down. Yeah, Gillespie might just save the touchdown there. Once Moon gets outside, he's hard to stop. You can see into the middle and cuts to the outside. And now we're chasing him. Zeph Fijak did a good job there blocking down there to kind of get a seal on the outside there for Tyler Moon. And he referenced the 156 on the ground. Number 81 of them was on that first carry by Moon. So after that, they only had about 70 rushing yards the rest of the half. First down for Science Hill right around midfield. Micah Dukes going to get this carry as Moon's on the sidelines getting a breather. Yeah, and that time he stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Linebackers coming up there in the middle of that line. Once again, you see Myers, number 24, coming up here to make the stop. I believe Science Hill's trying to make a statement coming out here in the third quarter, running the football. They give him two yards there on first down, be second and eight. It's going to be Dukes again on second down as he gets pushed forward a little bit across the 45, down to the 44, be third and four. Yeah, it looked like the same play it was last time. Coming in at that time was Harris from his defensive end position making the stop. Tyler Moon checks back into the game for this third and four. Looks like Moon's going to be the Wildcat here. Yeah, definitely the Wildcat. We're going to see it strong over here on this side. D. Jack and O'Daniel, and it's going to be student body left, and then uh -oh. back to the uh -oh. right goes Tyler Moon. Gillespie's chasing. Gillespie's chasing, and he trips him up. Jonathan Gillespie inside the five. Tyler Moon, fake left, and back to the right. You said, uh oh, you knew there's no one over there. Yeah, they, they were sitting in motion this way. You can see the defense moving down, and then Moon just cuts it back to the other side. No cornerback over there, no, no defense. Gillespie runs him down, saves a touchdown there. Yeah, we'll see if uh, that play by Gillespie, depending on how the rest of this drive goes, could be crucial here. First and goal, Moon. Out of the shotgun, and he is very close. And they're going to say they're running in, no signal. And they're going to say short, just short of the goal line. So we second in goal. And we got a player down, I think, for Dobbins Bennett. It's 58. McVeigh? Nicholas McVeigh down for Dobbins Bennett. Yeah, big defensive tackle inside there. We'll take a look here at the. The replay from down on the field here, this first and goal play. Moon, good job there. It was also George Evans did a good job coming in there as he tried to stretch it out there, and Evans met him and knocked him back, so good call. S saved a touchdown right there because it's hard for those officials to see if the knee is down or if the ball's over the goal line first. It's going to be second and goal from inside the one. All right, let's do a, another Martin Dentistry smile cam while we have a break in the action here. And we got more smiles here, maybe some ball boys on the sidelines for Science Hill.
And there's Nicholas McVeigh walking off. Good to see that. So second and goal from inside the one for Science Hill. And we'd expect Tyler Moon in the Wildcat. Tyler Moon in the Wildcat. The, looks like the formation they have going out there. We might see a little motion. Of course, also there in the backfield is Big Dukes. He's got Moon. a low snap, and he's in for the touchdown. Tyler Moon, the trifecta, his third touchdown of the game. Toyota touchdown makes it 26-21 now. Do you go for two for Science Hill? Uh, I think we might see that. I think we're going to see two right here. Getting a play from the sideline. And they're going to try and get back to a touchdown lead here. You see two fingers being held up from the sidelines. Good job there by Tyler Moon. A bit of a low snap. He was able to corral it, take it in. So Science Hill will go for two. It's going to be the same formation here. Moon in the Wildcat. This time he's going to fake the handoff. He's looking. It's Zeph Fijak caught it. Is he in? They say no. They say no good. Short. So the two-point conversion, no good. 26-21 Science Hill. We'll be back on Friday Night Rivals. We're heading into all-wheel drive season. And this RAV4 is one of 15 different all-wheel drive vehicles from Toyota. RAV4 can handle the rain, the snow, the off-road, whatever comes your way. Which explains why it's the best-selling SUV in America. you got all kinds of room back here. And RAV4 all-wheel drive can even come with an electrified hybrid powertrain. Now, during Toyota's fall savings season, you can save thousands in fuel costs on an electrified RAV4 hybrid. Plus, get two years no-cost maintenance. Toyota. Let's go places. Life can be a lot sometimes. But at Holston Medical Group, our primary care providers are here through it all, whether it be a routine checkup or something unexpected. Because at HMG, we're here for you through every stage of life with the best primary care and support. Whether it's you or the people you love most, choose a primary care provider you can rely on. Choose HMG, your health partner for life. Now accepting new patients. We get this time some students here in the stands. Smile, girls, you're on TV. The Martin Dentistry Smile Cam. Thank you for hopping on board tonight. That last scoring drive, eight plays, 81 yards, all runs. As Coach, you mentioned, making a statement, they did that. Eight plays, eight runs, 81 yards. I think they must have got talked to in the locker room and said, guys, the physical team's going to win this second half. We've got to go out and show them how physical we're going to be. We're going to blow them off the ball. All right, so the two-point conversion, no good. So it's a five-point lead now for Science Hill, 26-21. So now DB has to make a statement on offense. Turn a high, short kick. And it's going to be good field position once again. Branson Carswell on the return. You heard Stacey Carter say wasn't pleased with the special teams in the first half for Science Hill. And they're another shorter kick by turn. And they're pretty good field position at the 40. Excellent field, field position to start your first possession in the second half. A lot of discussion going on on the sideline over there. We might have a player down to see some... People in the Science Hill staff heading over to the far side of the field. I think we have a Science Hill player down on the Dobbins Bennett sideline. Yeah. I believe he's got a cramp. Right, while we have a minute here, let's talk about the Blue Cross Bowl. The nine state championship games in the state of Tennessee. You can watch all nine right here in the Tri City CW, December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd from Chattanooga. We have a lot of teams in Northeast Tennessee. We've got Hampton, Greenville, Daniel Boone. Certainly these two teams all with aspirations of making it all the way down to Chattanooga come December. The injured player there was Nathan Bird for Science Hill. So Dobbins Bennett's going to start this drive at their own 38-yard line, down by five. First play on offense in the second half for the Indians. It's going to be a handoff 
to Brooks, who scored that long touchdown run in that 42-yard touchdown. He's going to get the first carry of the second half. Yeah, he made an excellent cut there. I believe that play was designed to go a little bit to the right, and he cut back, looked like to the left side of A-gap. Was able to pick up about, uh, I guess, six yards there, wasn't he? Second and four. With three receivers for the Indians. Mullins, the tight end, going from left to right. And it's going to be a fake. Carson throw across the middle. It's caught. It's a running room all the way for the touchdown is Dakari Dixon. And what an answer for Dobbins Bennett. The touchdown, 56 yards. Dakari Dixon, first time we've called his name tonight. Yeah, I think two plays and in the end zone. You can see it just a little fake to the run in the middle here. Holds the linebackers, comes back, hits him on a quick slank. And then he turns on the speed. Dakari Dixon, the senior, making a big impact on this game. Now I think Dobbins Bennett, they might try and go for two now since they're up by one, trying to make it a three-point game. They're running people in and out. It was like a hockey substitution there. They had all these guys. I think the, the special teams unit was in. Then the offense comes running out, so they're going to have to hurry here. The play clock is down under seven. You don't want to call a timeout here if you're Dobbins Bennett, but they are going to have a hard time getting this playoff here. Quick snap. Barely get it off. Carson's going to throw it back at the end zone. It's caught. Hayden Russell, the two-point conversion. Dobbins Bennett takes a three-point lead, 29-26. Let's take another look here at this touchdown from Dakari Dixon as we head to break, and we're in for a good one here. You can feel it on Friday Night Rivals. At Friendship Hyundai, we have over 150 new Hyundais for sale, and we're turning the clock back on prices. New 22 Santa Fe's only $23.9, all with three years free maintenance and a lifetime warranty. Nobody beats Friendship Hyundai of Bristol and Johnson City. We're dealing. For most families, saving enough money for a down payment to buy a home is difficult. We're the Tri-City Community Bank, and we understand. That's why we offer a no down payment home loan for well-qualified applicants. Get your loan. Buy your home. Move in. We make it easy. And that's another reason why our bank is the home loan leader. Call, click, or come see us at the Tri-City Community Bank on Boone's Creek Road. <laughs> it's Ford Truck Month at Friendship Ford in Bristol. Don't pay over MSRP. Order your new F-150 from Friendship and get a free $500 gas card and $500 toward accessories. Nobody beats Friendship Ford of Bristol. We're dealing. Toyota's Friday Night Rivals, presented by Holston Medical Group. Welcome back to Science Hill High School. Both teams have scored a touchdown in the third quarter. Two possessions, two touchdowns. The difference is Science Hill did not get their two-point conversion. Dobbins Bennett did, so that is a one-point game now, a three-point game, 29-26. Yeah, Science Hill was uh, running the ball down the field, and DB comes back passing the ball. One run. Real quick, fake, hit the pass. This kickoff is going to go just shy of the end zone, so Moon is able to bring it out. And again, this Dobbins Bennett kick return unit, and the ball comes out there at the end. Smartly, Jacob Julian falls on it. Not sure if Moon was down or not, but Science still hasn't recovered anyway. But this Dobbins Bennett kick return unit has been on their P's and Q's here. Yeah, the special the special teams have been, uh, you could say, awesome tonight, especially the kick coverage. They've done an excellent job of practicing this week. The special teams coach got them in line exactly where they're supposed to be. The players are doing their assignment, keeping Moon hem hemmed in. First and 10 from the 16-yard line. Science Hill, not great field position, but Tyler Moon, that can change quickly here. It's going to be Javin Chester on first down. Coming up in the fourth quarter, we'll have our Toyota drive of the game. We've had a few more drives in the second half that could be added to the compilation of potential drive of the game winners. We do have a player down for Science Hill. I believe that was Javin Chester, the running back on the play. Yeah, he was tackled by Harris that time uh, from his end position. We'll take a timeout as they attend to Javin Chester on Friday Night Rivals. 
This financial literacy tip is brought to you by Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation. Your overall credit profile and credit scores are very important for your financial future. What do you do when you've had credit issues? You can reestablish. You can reach out to any collectors or bad debts and try to make payment arrangements or settle those. The second thing you need to do is you have to reestablish. Open up a few small manageable trade lines, maybe a credit card and an auto loan or a credit card and a personal loan. Pay those on time. It's really important on any credit cards that you get to keep the credit balance at 50% or below of the credit limit. This will drive your scores up much faster and you can reestablish much quicker than you think. Credit scores don't only affect mortgages, they affect the rates you get on automobile loans, credit cards, personal loans, and even your homeowner's insurance premium. So building your credit profile is extremely important and keeping those at high levels will help your financial future. To learn more about Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, go to homeloansbyfairway.com. Welcome back. Here actually were two Science Hill players now, not only Javin Chester, but also 51 Bryson Hill, the left guard, walking gingerly. So he's going to probably have to come out of the game, it looks like, here for at least the play. So Jay Sean Schwartz and the offense will head back out for a second and eight. Trying to spread out DB's defense here. Twins over there on the right side and the split left. Boone in the backfield is the tailback next to Schwartz. It's going to be a pass. Imagine they're going to be maybe looking for Moon here. Schwartz, he's running out of room. Going to throw it back across his body. Dangerous. It's caught intercepted by Nigel Vidal inside the 30. That ball was tipped up and then intercepted by Vidal. Yeah, the tip pass drill came into play right there. I think what they wanted to try to do was get Moon out of the backfield on the wheel route on the right-hand side. And who says you need two good hands to make a catch? Nigel Vidal again, has that big cast on his left hand, but still able to make the catch right there. Big turnover for the Indians right now. Sons Hill's defense is going to have to dig in here. His teammates giving him a lot of love there on the sidelines. Well-deserved. Sons Hill, is their defense uh, going to be able to stop right here? Look for DB to go deep on the first play. Dobbins Bennett up by three with the ball. Neither team has had a lead of more than one possession. We've been back and forth the entire way. We have first down carry to Peyton Franklin for no game. Yeah, defense came up big on that left-hand side that time. Offense got no push whatsoever, no hole for the run through. He might have lost a little bit. 627 and counting in the third quarter. It has been an unbelievably fun football game so far here at Science Hill High School Region Championship on the line. The 101st meeting between Dobbins Bennett and Science Hill. Dobbins Bennett leads the all-time series 63, 32, and five ties. Of course, you can't tie anymore in high school football. Carson rolling out. He's going to toss that one towards the sidelines, out of bounds. So that's going to be third and ten. And we've got a flag on the play. Put pressure that time. Had a linebacker coming up from the outside that time. Okay. Carson had to get rid of it. Be holding against Dobbins Bennett. Yeah, Dobbins Bennett's already walking back. Big penalty. You had excellent field position. Now you're going to be backed up. Holding defense. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Down remains second. So the yeah. instead of it being third and ten, they're going to take the penalty, make it second and twenty. It's going to be longer than second and 20 because the holding was where the, the hold occurred. So the ball is at the 46. The first down is at the 18. So second and 28. Carson going to throw it quick across the middle to his tight end. And he's going to be close to the original line of scrimmage. That was Mullins. Oh, Mullins made a great catch that time. Got both hands on it. Yeah, Carson put a little zip on this ball. Boom. So Mullins, like I said, he got back close to the original, but now we got an eligible man downfield. Another marker that came and didn't see that one. Wow. The early indication was an eligible receiver downfield. They sent Gillespie in motion. 
Cutting up too fast. Ineligible of receiver downfield. Number 11 was covered up. So it's a five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay second down. So they said one of the receivers was covered up, which means he's an ineligible receiver and he couldn't go downfield. Couldn't go downfield on the pass. Um, That's just an alignment issue with the... Yeah, the, yeah. yeah strictly alignment. I'm sure Coach is not happy with that one. So that's a big mistake for Dobbins Bennett. That's now second and 33. There's not many sheets on the, the play sheet. Is there for second and no. 33? Not at all. The one thing if you're the defense, which you don't want here, is a cheap, cheap penalty here. Second and 33. It's going to hand off. And they're going to be down about the 43-yard line. That was Braden Simpson. So he got some of the yardage back, but they still got a ways to go. They've got two downs to get there. Right now they might be thinking, uh, let's get close enough for a field goal. Third and 24. Play clock's running down. It's at 10 seconds. That's not what Joey Christian had in mind. It was a third and 24 after that interception on this drive. Play clock down to two. Carson, they snap it. Fakes the handoff. Carson's going deep. It's incomplete. Good coverage by Emmett Watson, but I don't think even the tallest guy in the NFL could have came down with that one. No, I believe it was out of bounds. Tried to throw it to the sideline, got a little, got away from him there. So big stand for Science Hill's defense after the turnover. Going to force a punt here. Yeah, uh, you for, forced the turnover. Great, great job by DB there. But then Science Hill's defense, a hey, come up with the stop. Now we got a punt. And Moon's back waiting for the punt on his, uh, looks like, 10-yard line. Great Manning with the punt. Moon's going to let that one bounce, and it's going to be very close. Just goes into the end zone. Indians trying to down that one inside the five, but that'll come out to the 20. Yeah, two big breaks that time. Dobbins Bennett sort of shot themselves in the foot after that turnover with the penalties. And again, neither team able to have a two-possession lead in this game. 4-18 left in the third quarter. The home student section there for Science Hill. Hoping to celebrate a region championship here in about 16 minutes of game action. First down, it's going to be a handoff up the middle to Micah Dukes. And he's going to pick up about six. Yeah, went back to that running game. Came out the locker room running. Dukes got up maybe limping just a little bit. Science Hill going a little tempo here on second down. And it's going to be Dukes again up the middle. It's a first down for Micah Dukes. Yeah, excellent blocking over there on that right-hand side. I believe that was uh, Redford and Hensley, the uh, center and the right guard. So back-to-back -back carries for Micah Dukes and Science Hill again. They're going a little tempo here. It's going to be Moon this time. Moon. He's going to be taken down for five. Yeah, he was able to find a little hole there to make it a cut. About that time he got hit. Moon. But he's, he's down. And Christopher Harris laid the big hit on Tyler Moon. and uh, I believe it's a cramp. The way he's sitting there, he's, he's trying to stretch it out. See if they grab his foot, bend his toe, toes back. Yeah, that, that's what's going on. He's got a cramp there in his left let low cramping in both legs. So we'll take a look here again. This hole that how quickly it closed there with Christopher Harris right there coming kind of from the backside there. So Tyler Moon, who's been the MVP for Science Hill really all season long. I think he'd have to be the odds on favorite to be the player of the year in Region 1 6A. He'll have to come out for at least one play. Walking on the back of his, on his heels there. Yes, trying to stretch out those calf muscles. Science Hill, they were off last week. They had a very, very late bye week. They played nine straight weeks and then 
had the week off before their biggest game of the year against their biggest rival. Dobbins Bennett last week, they beat Oak Ridge 21-12. It was a game that Joey Christian was not very pleased with how his team played last week. They got the win. Schwartz going to keep it on second down. He's got a first down close to midfield. George Evans on the tackle. That'll make some fans smile. The smile cam in full force thanks to Martin Dentistry. The Science Hill fans now happy after that carry. Back to action. It's going to be Micah Dukes up the middle. He's going to get four yards on first down. Yeah, I believe those last four plays are all running in the same spot inside the tackles. Looking at it again on the ball, ready to go. Second and six here. Back switching sides this time. The jab and chest for Micah Dukes on either side of Schwartz. Schwartz is going to keep it on second down, but he's brought down by Christopher Harris. Oh, yeah, he's able to get a hand on him. Might have had a little running room if he wasn't able to get down there. That was a great job by Harris to shed the, the blocker and then still bring down Jay Sean Schwartz. Yeah, Moon's back into the game and Chester's out. So he might just dialed up a play for Moon here. 2.15 remaining in the third quarter. Dobbins Bennett up by three. Schwartz is going to fake it to Moon. He's got a couple guys open. Underneath he goes. It's caught by Devin Medina. Yeah, big tight end there. Out in the flats. No coverage at all out there. I think the linebacker put a little pressure on him throwing the ball. No one picked him up as he's out in the flats. They were looking at Moon. Nice catch by Medina. He's a heck of a football player. They're going to say it's actually fourth down, though. He did not get the first down. So it's going to be fourth and one. This is a really big play right now. It's going to be Moon in the Wildcat on fourth and one. Dobbins Bennett, all their guys over the middle there. He's going to cut it outside is Moon, and Moon's got some room to go down to 30. Vidal brings him down. A bank of Tennessee first down. And Tyler Moon down again. Frames are back. I gotta get some pickle juice. <laughs> yeah, a safe touchdown right here with this tackle. He was able to get his hand on his jersey, pull, pulling him down there. Of course, it's a good thing Vidal could do that with the right hand. I don't know if he could do that with his left hand, grab the jersey. Uh, no, I don't think that would have happened. You can see Moon's all cramped up here. There's a. Watcher sure was in that red bottle, whatever it is, they're telling him to drink it. Yep. All right, and again, we've touched on it again, but this game, playing for a region championship tonight, you see the standings there, both 4-0. The winner of this game, the number one seed, the loser will be the two seed. Both will be at home next week, and then three and four, those seeds still up for grabs. West Ridge, they are playing tonight actually at Jefferson County. Morristown East also in the mix. West Ridge, they needed a lot of help to make the playoffs. They have first needed to beat Jeff County tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a tough, very tough road trip for them down here. So Moon out of the ball game again. It's Chester and Dukes in the backfield. The Hilltoppers inside the Toyota red zone under two minutes left in the third quarter. This time it's going to be Javin Chester. He cuts it outside. He's close to the 10-yard line. Oh, yeah, excellent run. Looked like it was going to go inside there, inside the tackles, and he broke it to the outside, and no one was out there to contain. So it's going to be second and two, and Science Hill getting back to the line quickly. Schwartz is going to hand it off to Micah Dukes up the middle. He's inside the 10, down to the 6. That'll be first and goal. First and goal at the 6. Another big running play. Once again, Science Hill, they're getting up to the line. Line it up, we're coming at you. Schwartz going to hand it off to Javin Chester. He's inside the five, down to maybe the three. Yeah, tough, tough yardage coming in there. Hill came down from his defensive end spot in on the tackle that time. Just, just power football. Science Hill going fast once again here. 
It's going to be Javin Chester on second down. He's going to try and cut it out. He was a little hesitant on which way to go, and that cost him. Uh, yeah, Simpson came up there from his outside linebacker spot, put the hit on him. Probably a loss of about uh, two yards on the play. Yeah, watch Chester. If he would have kept going outside, he might have had it there, but just that slight hesitation. Now it's going to be third and goal. It's a big, big play right here. Tyler Moon still not in the ball game. He's on the sidelines. Third and goal from the five. They're going to say they lost two yards on that third, on that second down play. Got an H back over here on the left side. Schwartz is going to take it off the right side, and what a tackle that was right there by Branson Carswell. I think that saved a touchdown. Uh, might have. They've the hole was extremely large on that side. He was able to get a hand on him, brought him down. Fourth down, decision time. I mean, watch, We're kicking it. no one, maybe, I don't know, maybe there had been one other defender there had a chance, Justin Hale, Hale, but that third quarter clock has expired. So at the end of three, it's 29-26. Looks like Science Hill will attempt a game-tying field goal when we come back to start the fourth quarter. Hands. You might think they're just for waving, but they can be used for all kinds of things, like making made from scratch biscuits at Hardee's. Bite into the new two for five dollar breakfast deal only at Hardee's. ETSU is you. ETSU is adventurous and distinctive and inclusive. ETSU is passionate. Together, we create a place where community is family. Your passion, your future, your purpose. ETSU is you. What's your definition of fresh? At Food City, our starts every morning as our certified butchers hand cut everything you see behind the counter fresh that day. Fresh also means our beef is ground in the store several times a day. Timestamped with the hour it was ground. That's a fresh guarantee. The fact is, it just doesn't get any fresher than this. That's why we say, start fresh with Food City. How do they do that? How does Champion Chevrolet compete with the big cities like Nashville, Memphis, Knoxville, Chattanooga to sell more Chevys than any other Chevy dealer in the state of Tennessee? It's the customer service our team of employees provide to you, plus the massive selection, availability of income and inventory that sets us apart from our competition that made us Tennessee's number one Chevy dealer again for 21. Great products like the Silverado, Tahoe, Equinox, Blazer, and Trailblazer with transparent pricing makes your purchase experience seamless. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? Anna, can you count to five without saying one or three? Sure, two, four, five. <laughs> That's right. Our big story is the two for five breakfast deal at Hardee's. You got me. I know, I did. Bite into our made from scratch biscuits today. Friday Night Rivals, presented by Holston Medical Group. Welcome back. There's Max Turin. He's two for two in field goals already for Science Hill. This one would tie it at 29 if he can make it. This will be his shortest of the three he's attempted so far. It's gonna be a 24 yarder, a bit of a low snap. And it's no good. Blocked. Out of bounds over here on about the 20 yard line. So a big special teams play for Dobbins Bennett, a bit of a, that was blocked right there, the whole play was kind of thrown off schedule right there looked like it was maybe a bit of a low snap yeah it's simpson with the block the timing was thrown off there you saw turn kind of double clutch so dobbins bennett retains the lead after the block field goal 29 26 indians will have the ball at their own 20 yard line five seconds into the fourth quarter It's going to be a first down run to Brooks. He's going to fight forward for four yards. Yeah, we might see a few runs out of DB now. In the third quarter, Dobbins Bennett ran just five plays in the third quarter. Science still ran 22, but the Indians still were able to extend their lead from one to three. Yeah, 
long pass did it for him. Science Hill eat up the clock on the ground. So that blocked field goal, the difference right now. Dobbins Bennett up by three, second and six. Carson's going to throw it. That one's high, intended for Gillespie. Third and six. Faked a little trap play there with the H back that time. A little play action, up throwing to the outside. Third and six. The Science Hills defense, they got to stop the last time. Trying to get it again here to get the ball back to their offense down three. Dobbins Bennett would like to pick up a few more first downs here and run the clock and put some more points on the board. I think we've got some motion against Dobbins Bennett up front. Kill themselves with penalties. So third and six becomes third and 11. Coach Christian's going to the sweatshirt now. It's getting a little chilly out here. Yeah, I think it's uh, dropped a few degrees here. The second half got, got a little breeze. Third and 11 from the 19. They got to get to the 30 for a first down. Three receivers. Carson has plenty of time. He's going deep one on one. And there's a penalty marker on Kendall Bumpus. He was looking for Jonathan Gillespie. Yeah, he was going deep. Single coverage over there, man to man going down the sideline. Uh, he might have had that right arm in there, pushed him there just a little bit. Probably the reason we saw the flags. And that's going to be pass interference against Science Hill. That will be a first down. They needed 11. The penalty will give him 15. <laughs> Pass interference, defense, number three. That's a 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. Yeah, he's looking at him all the way here. Lays it up there. Oh, he, yeah. Yeah, he grabbed it. That was yeah. a, a good call. Yeah, he was, hey, take the 15 and don't give up 30. That's true. That's true. It's not a spot foul like it is on Sundays in the NFL. Got trips over here to the wide side of the field this time. First and 10 for the Indians from their own 34-yard line. 11.05 left in the game. It's going to be a first down run to Brooks. And Brooks is going to get across the 35, give him maybe three yards. Yeah, that was a tough three yards that time. <laughs> Looked like I had a little motion that time by the H-back trying to run a trap. But there's nobody there to trap. Set, sitting there in the hole, I think, is number... For Science Hill is number 58. Second down. Let me pick up a three. Second and seven. 10 30 and counting. Again, the winner of this game will win the Region 1 6A championship. Those teams, though, regardless, will be at home next week in round one of the playoffs. Carson, second down, trying to set up a screen. Baylor, necessary, excellent, excellent coverage. Yeah, he smelled that out all the way. Linebacker stunned at that time. Got back there in the backfield. Necessary was with the, the back. Screen's not working on us. Baylor, necessary, one of the top players. And we haven't really called his name a ton so far tonight on defense, but he makes a big play right there. Just a sophomore. Another third down. Sons Hill substituting those defensive linemen. Smith's back in the game. Also a Daniel defensive end. Play clock is down to five, and Dobbins Bennett hasn't broken the huddle yet here. I think Joey Christian's going to need a timeout. Yeah, he's not going to get this off. Uh, yeah, Dobbins Bennett calls a timeout. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back on Friday Night Rivals. 
Citizens Bank is a locally owned and operated bank serving communities in East Tennessee. The bank was established in 1934 with three guiding principles at its foundation. Assurance of safety to depositors, a high standard of service to customers, and a genuine desire to serve the community. These principles are the core factor in the success that has lasted over 85 years and grown Citizens Bank to the renowned financial institution it is today. To learn more about Citizens Bank, visit CitizensBank24.com. We're heading into all-wheel drive season, and nobody has more to choose from than Toyota. That's where we're back in the aggressively styled Toyota Highlander. The Highlander can handle whatever comes your way. It's got room for eight, connectivity for all your devices. No wonder it's the best-selling SUV in its class. Highlander all-wheel drive can even come with an electrified hybrid powertrain. Now, during Toyota's fall saving season, you can save thousands in fuel costs on an electrified Highlander hybrid. Plus, get two years no-cost maintenance. Toyota. Let's go places. Tonight here at Kermit Tinton Stadium, some young Science Hill fans enjoying the game, and they're on television. The Barton Dentistry smile came. All right, third and seven for Dobbins Bennett, who called their first timeout in the second half, so the Indians have two timeouts left. Science Hill has a full complement of three timeouts. Carson. Looking across the middle, it's tipped, almost intercepted by Necessary. And yep. we said we didn't call his name much now. Back-to-back -back plays, he's made outstanding plays. Outstanding plays. Stop it on second down, stop it on third down. Now they got a punt. And we're looking for Dakari Dixon and Necessary rising up and almost coming down with the interception. So, yes, Dobbins Bennett will punt. And the first two possessions of the second half were both touchdowns. Since then, no points from either team. Tyler Moon is back in the game to receive this punt. He's standing in his own 30-yard line. Manning back to punt. Science Hill getting close. Moon calls for a fair catch, and he makes the catch on his backside at the 28. <laughs> yeah, what they were doing that time of the pressure was just the defensive ends was making sure he punted the ball, and uh, that time they got pretty close to blocking the punt. 57 left in the fourth quarter. Science Hill with the ball. And last time they had a pretty short, about a 24-yard field goal. It was blocked. A bit of a low snap, kind of threw everything off there. And so the toppers have the ball back. Once again, a field goal ties it. A touchdown will put them ahead. Yeah, they've been running it the whole second half. We've only seen a couple passes. Micah Dukes is the tailback, and he's going to run it on first down, try to cut it outside, and he falls across the 35, close to the maybe 37. Pick up of about eight, maybe nine. Yeah, I think they changed the formation that time. They had two tight ends and uh, double flankers over there on that left-hand side. Strong side to run the ball to. Right back on the, right back on the ball again. Looks like they're going quick. Same formation. Dukes again, he has the first down, not by much, but he got it. Yeah, he was hit hard there in the middle that time. Looked like Harris coming down there again. As a pal's sudden service, first down. And see Micah Dukes taking a big hit there. That's from Nicholas McVay. First and ten. Don't see Tyler Moon in the game. It's Micah Dukes, his third consecutive carry out across the 40 down to the 44. Yeah, I think they've decided to do the same thing they did when they came out of the locker room, run the ball. On that big offensive line up there. And Tyler Moon been dealing with some cramps here, so he did feel the punt, but has not been in yet on offense. It's been the Micah Dukes show. Yeah, we have a little cross block over here on that right-hand side that time. Uh, Smith blocked down, and Redford, he came up to the seal on the linebacker and was able to pick up a few yards there. Dukes is coming out after four straight carries. Tyler Moon is in the game for the first time on this series. He's lined up in the backfield with Schwartz. Third and three, they're gonna give it to Moon. The ball's loose, he fumbles it, and it's recovered by Dobbins Bennett. Yeah, Dobbins. Cannon Mullins with the recovery, and Moon is down again. Yeah, uh, Cannon Mullins is playing safety, come up there that time, put the hit on Moon.
Ball comes out, he jumps on it. Tyler Moon never really had it right there. And it's recovered by Mullins. Moon is still down on the field. This is yeah. the third time this half he's been down with cramps. Yeah, he's in a lot of pain. Yeah, Mullins, uh, that, that time they changed their defense because the offense was in double tights. Run, run, run. Safety creeps up. Like you said, Moon didn't have the ball in his hand. Hit his leg down on the ground. DB, big break for DB. Last time they got a big break, wasn't able to do anything. Penalties killed him. Got to give credit for Science Hill's defense. Yeah, Tyler Moon certainly trying to tough it out here, but it seems like any time he does something where he has to exert some speed, he's going to be cramping. We'll be back here on Friday Night Rivals. Tonight's school spotlight is brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Well, I played, so originally this season I was starting at receiver. And then, you know, our offense wasn't really clicking in the first couple games. So they moved me to quarterback to do wildcat stuff. And then I also had to play running back as well. To, it feels pretty good, you know, like them counting on me and then just me doing my job and them putting me in the best ability. I just really want to base my life around sports, just you know, help other athletes if I don't, like, make it anywhere or be like a coach or something. You know, me being undersized, you know, not always the biggest kid and always the strongest, I feel like that just motivates me to work harder, you know, be better and just keep going. All right, that was a school spotlight there of Tyler Moon and here is the man himself, unfortunately dealing with cramps here in the second half. He's certainly gonna be frustrated. He fumbled right there, giving the ball to Dobbins Bennett. It's a three-point game, 8.04 remaining in the fourth quarter. Once again, this is the third consecutive possession. Dobbins Bennett has had the ball up by three, have not been able to extend the lead. Got trips to this side with the H back. Actually, four receivers. It's going to be a first down carry. Some running room for the Indians. Spinning down inside the 35, inside the 30. It's a Powell's sudden service first down. That was a little different there. The, he's trying to throw him down and uh, really couldn't throw him down. So we had two spins there that finally got him on the ground. That was necessary to have a hold of him there. Yeah, that was Braden Simpson on the carry. And we got another Science Hill player down. A big, big run there that time by Simpson. Hold, holding on to the football. Looks like another cramp for Science Hill. That's Baylor necessary, I believe, too, number six. Yeah, just made the tackle. We'll take a timeout. So we'll see a new back. At Bank of Tennessee, it's our job to help you focus on the happy moments and check off the things on your to-do list to make them happen. The food, the setup, and if you bought enough flowers. So you can worry about what they're going to think. What in the world are they going to think? What your mom will say. And if you remember the dance you practiced a million times. We're here along the way so you can pull off the happiest moments in life. Bank of Tennessee, in the business of happiness. Do you know what's scary? Over half of Americans have no dental insurance. That's why we've developed the Martin Membership Plan, a simple and affordable option for patients without dental insurance. Unlike dental insurance, there are no deductibles, annual maximums, waiting periods, claim denials, or pre-approvals, and your benefits start as soon as you sign up. The minute you enroll, you'll save 30% off of our preventative services and 15% off of other services and products. Give us a call, 423-247-8172. And some youngsters out here enjoying a high school football game. They're fired up, ready to go. Happy to be on TV. Necessary coming off the field. 7.39. First and 10 for the Indians at the Science Hill 29-yard line. Looks like... Uh... Cleveland's going to be in at linebacker. Necessary since he's out. First down carry to Simpson. Down to the 25. That'll be a gain of four. Yeah, another good run play up the middle that time. Hit it in there hard behind Brown, the right guard. 
Looking at the scores, Maryville is up big on Bradley Central. That has an impact on who these two teams will play. And Maryville, they were up by over 30. So if that holds, the winner of this game would host Bradley Central next week, round one of the playoffs. The loser of this game would host Bearden next week. Second and six. Science Hill trying to bring some pressure. A quick throw out to Gillespie. Zeph Fijak and Stephen Fomoyan, though, bring him down. Good coverage by the toppers. Yeah, they tried to run that bubble screen that time, but the toppers came up there with some really good defense, and they came up fast. Like you said, uh, from the outside there, they just blew the play up. No work for Gillespie to go. Actually gave him no gain on that play, so it's third and six. 6-20 and counting in the fourth quarter. Baylor necessary is back in the game for Science Hill. Got trips to the right side. They're going to run it on third and six to Brooks. He is going to be short of the first down marker. He needed to get to the 19. He's down to the 22. Decision time for Joey Christian. It's fourth and three. A field goal here would make it a six-point game. Looks like it'd be close to like a 39-yard field goal. Just inside the 30-yard line. Yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be a 39-yard field goal attempt for Titan Thomas. This will be his first field goal attempt of the game. You're getting a great look at it here. The kick is up. And it is good. Titan Thomas from 39 yards. Makes it 32-26, Dobbins Bennett. We'll take a timeout. We're back for the final 522 after this on Friday Night Rivals. News 5 Sports is proud to recognize our scholar athletes, celebrating excellence in academics and athletics. From Dobbins Bennett, we honor Jake Carson. He carries a 4.19 GPA. Carson is a two-year starter on the football team off the field. He's involved in the National Honor Society and volunteers at his church. All Hardy Scholar athletes have the opportunity to compete for a $5,000 scholarship to be awarded at the end of the season. News 5 and Hardys are honoring outstanding students who are making a difference both inside and outside the classroom. Email us your suggestions, 5 student at WCYB.com. Watch News 5 Tuesdays at 5.30 for Hardy's 5 Star Student. The halfback pass wide open. That's Jonathan Gillespie. And I don't think anybody's going to catch it all. It is cut for the touchdown. Dante Worley. All right, here's our Toyota drive of the game. It was in the third quarter, the first possession for Dobbins Bennett. It was a short run to Brooks and then to Kari Dixon. His only catch of the game, and it's been a big one. It gave Dobbins Bennett the lead. And then the two-point conversion, Carson to Hayden Russell. That's been the only scoring of the third quarter after Science Hills touchdown to open it. DV answered, and then no points since then until that field goal right there by Titan Thomas. So it's now 32-26, a six-point game. So now if you're Science Hill, you know you need a touchdown. And not only that, a touchdown and an extra point would give you the lead. Yeah, we'd we'll probably see a different style of offense. Might see the ball in the air a few times. Got a different deep man back there this time yeah, for Science Hill. It's Jacob. Watson, I believe, number 14. Emmett Watson, they're going to say that one hit the end zone, so he wasn't able to bring it out. Yeah, he stepped back to catch it, and that back foot uh, touched the line. <laughs> so Tyler Moon not out there, and as much as he's been dealing with cramps, you don't know if he's going to be able to make it back in the game at any point. In this final 5-17. Science Hill has all three timeouts. 5-17. There's Moon on the sidelines. Yeah, he just put his helmet back on. 80 yards separating Science Hill, and it's going to be a pass. Schwartz on first down. He's going to throw this one away. Good coverage by the Indians. If he was able to throw that ball a little soon, sooner there, I, I believe he had his tight end uh, open down down the middle of the field there. But then he kept on rolling out and the coverage caught up with him. 5.09 remaining. 
And there's one other game tonight where there was a winner-take-all region championship in Northeast Tennessee and 3A, Chucky Doak and West Green and down in Greene County. Chucky Doak at last check, they were 32-13 in that one. It's an exciting final week of the season, final game, and it's a winner-take-all for the region championship. Micah Dukes on second down, a good carry. He gets eight yards. That sets up a third and two. Oh, Science Hill needed that. Power running straight up the middle of the field. Had Hensley blocking that time in Redford. Hill in there. Science Hill's going quick. It's going to be Schwartz. He bobbles it, picks it up, and he got the first down, and he's still going. Jay Sean Schwartz, there's a penalty marker that's out there. But he did an excellent job staying composed and picking that ball up because he was short of the first down. Got a, got a cramp out there for DB. That ball bounced right back to Schwartz. An ultimate substitution, maybe? The mark in the back, number 14, <laughs> offense. That's a 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. All right, so they're going to say that was a block in the back on Emmett Watson. That was on a third and two. Yeah, he picked up a first down. Now they mark off the penalty. So and that's going to bring up uh, the what, referee said eight? first down, but it shouldn't be first down. No, no. I think the chain's right. They might meet, have a discussion on this. That's McVeigh, the injured Dobbins Bennett Indian. Yeah, a new tackle will be in the game for DB this time. Maybe Smith, number 75, coming in. Third and seven. So that penalty wipes out the first down. Schwartz had the first down with the block in the back. DB's changing their defense. They're up in press coverage this time. Man for man on the outside. Schwartz going to roll out the, this way. Right. He's got some room. That pass is complete, but short of the first down marker. That was Medina. Devin Medina that caught it, but he needed seven. He got five. Yeah, good catch. Now here comes Tyler Moon into the game. It looks like they're going to go for it here. Stacy Carter with 4-15. And rolling, you're down six. You're at your own 28-yard line, and they're going for it. Yeah, double tights, double wings, run formation. Moon had to get outside, trying to draw them off sides. Didn't happen. Well, they snap it. The play clock's at 10. Moon's changing things up here. Play clock's down to three. Now we get a timeout from Science Hill. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was definitely going to be the play of the game. Well, now you take a timeout, so you only have two left. If you decide to punt it here, Dobbins Bennett would get the ball with, you know, around 340, and you'd have two timeouts. You at least want to, if you don't get it, if you go for it and you don't get it here, make the game's pretty much over. Yeah, Science Hill is going to definitely run the ball. Well, that they were look like they were going to run the ball. DB, if they punt to DB, DB's going to try to uh, run the ball, get the clock moving. If they can pick up a first down, uh, Hilltoppers have to use both timeouts. Uh, very little time left on the clock. In this whole second half, uh, Science Hills will run the football. I guess uh, a couple the, pass plays. What you have to ask yourself is, you know, what do you tr have more trust in? Is it your offense picking up two yards, or do you punt it away and have your defense? Again, it's not an issue of holding without points, but if, Dob if Dobbins Bennett picked up maybe three first downs, game would be over. Uh, yeah, I, I think right here they're, they're going to go for it. They're not going to punt, and it's going to be uh, so fourth and two from their own 28-yard line, 3:48 remaining. Stacy Carter has Tyler Moon in the offense out there in the Wildcat. Is Moon? This could be your ball game. Moon straight ahead. He's not going to get it. The Dobbins Bennett defense comes wow. up with the monster stop, and they will take over. Everybody on that defensive front was at the line of scrimmage or in the backfield. Backers filling the holes. Nothing there. Looks like we have a Science Hill player down. 
Looks like a lineman. They went with the Wildcat right up the middle. When the lean on that offensive line and the defensive line for Dobbins Bennett won that play. But we'll take a timeout on Friday Night Rivals. News 5 Sports is proud to recognize our scholar athletes, celebrating excellence in academics and athletics. This week's winner from Science Hill is Ben O'Daniel. The football player has a 4.3 GPA, earned a 28 on the ACT, and is also an all-conference player as a junior. All Hardy Scholar athletes have the opportunity to compete for a $5,000 scholarship to be awarded at the end of the season. News 5 and Hardys are honoring outstanding students who are making a difference both inside and outside the classroom. Email us your suggestions, 5 star student at WCYB.com. Watch News 5 Tuesdays at 5.30 for Hardy's 5 star student. Catch the biggest plays and the final scores on Friday Night Huddle with News 5 Sports' Heather Williams every Friday after News 5 tonight at 11. Friday Night Huddle is sponsored by Ingalls, Hardee's, and Champion Chevrolet. Welcome back. There's the trophy that will go to the winning team here. That's separate from the Friday Night Rivals trophy. But they will also get so a couple trophies will be handed out tonight. So the gamble does not pay off for Science Hill. It's first and ten for Dobbins Bennett from the Science Hill 28-yard line. Indians up by six. Science Hill has two timeouts left. Indians going to keep the ball on the ground. Baylor necessary in the topper defense. They give up about three yards there on first down. And Stacey Carter is going to, looks like, take this timeout right here. And he does. That was Braden Simpson. So they're going to use the timeouts right here. This is going to be the stop they need. A first down here now for Dobbins Bennett. Pretty much would be able to end the game. Yeah, uh, necessary stun at that time. They actually had him in the backfield. Simpson was able to get away from him and uh, get a couple yards there. The clock was running. Like you said, they had to use a timeout down to one. Yeah. Would you expect Dobbins Bennett to just run it the next two plays here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're going to they're gonna make that last timeout's coming off by the toppers. But I think Coach did a smart decision there by stopping the clock right now with 3.30, keeping as much time on it as possible. He's saying, hey, defense, we're going to stop them in four downs. Now, if you're defense, are you selling out on the run right now? And if they call a pass play, you just tip your cap to them? Yeah, I, I think uh, you'll you'll see man coverage on the outside and everybody up to stop the run. So second and seven, one timeout left for Science Hill, 3.30 on the clock. DB up by six. This game was 21-20 at halftime. It was 29-26 coming to the fourth quarter, just three points on the board in this fourth quarter so far. That's going to be, looks like Brooks in the backfield here, three receivers. It is going to be Brooks up the middle, and he's got the first down inside the 20. Excellent run that time. Actually, they tried to strip the ball there just past the line of scrimmage. I'm not for sure if that was March coming up there and got his hand on it or not. Yeah, it was. And uh, the defensive end that time as well. Oh, big, big run that time. What they had, they had unbalanced on the right-hand side, plus they had trips to that side. Just really good blocking up front that time. Three minutes left. They're going to do that same formation here. Trips to the top. One timeout for Science Hill. Yeah, you can see number 52 is playing tight end over there on that right-hand side. Got an extra, extra blocker in there. First down. Going to be not too much of a groom there for Peyton Franklin. Yeah, he just, just following, following his blocker, staying behind him, holding on tight to the football to keep the clock running. That clock is still running here. That ran a few more seconds off the clock after Science Hill called the timeout. We'll see if they add a few more seconds back on the clock. Yeah, I believe they did. It's 2.35 now. No more timeouts for the toppers. Second and nine. Every second counts here. And there was a few more seconds that ran off that clock once they called a timeout here. We'll... So no more timeouts for Science Hill. Dobbins Bennett can get a first down at the seven-yard line. 
not see uh, DB hit to the middle and then break it to the outside, especially in that last formation they were running. Overloaded to the right-hand side. Now, are you telling, if you're Dobbins Bennett, are you telling if someone breaks the run, are you telling them to score, or is that where you fall down inside the five? Hey, hey, that's it. I think that's the play you do. You, you fall down as close as you can to the goal line and don't score it and, and run that clock, even though that would put you up two scores. Second and nine. No timeouts left for Science Hill. Carson is going to hand it off to Franklin. He's inside. The ball's loose, and Science Hill recovers. Oh, my goodness. The fumble is recovered by Kevin Smith, and there is now life. And I'll tell you what, a lot of people got up and walked out of these home stands over here. We're on the Science Hill side, and people may be coming back. Yeah, you can see the hole there, a big hole to the outside. Franklin hits up in there, gets hit. That was Zeph Fijak, maybe, that caused the fumble. Either V-Jack or Jacob Julian. Julian. Julian was up there. Now Science Hill, 227. They have no timeouts left. A costly fumble wow. by Peyton Franklin gives Science Hill an Good opportunity. Life. I think that was V-Jack, 21. Now Jay Sean Schwartz, he's in trouble here. He's got to run, throw that one, and it's caught by Stephen Fomoyan. Fomoyan gets taken down at the 25-yard line. Big first down. Clock stops, moving the chains. And Science Hill, no timeouts left. A pal Southern service first down. Moon in the slot position over here, are twins on the right side. Your Science Hill, got two minutes, you got plenty of time. They need a touchdown. Schwartz is gonna throw it incomplete. Yeah, it was short that time. You can see Simpson coming up trying to make a diving catch. Pressure by DB up the field that time. He had two defensive tackles. Well, actually, a linebacker there. Mirrors from the inside. He's getting out here to put pressure on him. Second and 10, 157. Tyra Moon in the ball game. He's been dealing with cramps for the second half. He's going to be lined up in the slot at the bottom of the screen. DB bringing some pressure. Schwartz throws it up. And here goes a penalty flag. Yeah, that ball was uh, just up in the air. And I think that uh, over there on that right-hand side, he might have just threw the receiver down. I didn't get a number. I think that was Nigel Vidal, number 20. Certainly the question is going to be, was it a catchable, a catchable ball? I don't even think they would discuss that. <laughs> the officials, uh, he, he's already made the call. After pass interference, that'd be a 15-yard penalty. Defense, number 20. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot, first down. Puts them out uh, to what, 41-yard line? A minute 48 on the clock, still plenty of time. No timeouts. Science Hill 59 yards away from tying this game and an extra point would put him ahead. But a long way to go. Got two receivers on each side. DB drag coming after the middle. Schwartz. And he's sacked. Gregory Harris. Or Christopher Harris. On the sack. And Schwartz took a big hit there from Harris. Yeah, he took a big hit. The what was so great about that, if you're on the defensive side that time, dragging across the middle of the field, I thought the receiver was going to be open, and Myers picked him up. I think that's where he was going to try to go to. So the clock cannot be stopped by Science Hill unless they get out of bounds here or first down. Schwartz throws. That's caught by Moon. Moon's out to the 50. He's shy of a first down. Are they going to give him the first down? Oh, it's going to be close. He's got cramps again. He's got cramps. Oh, they've already tossed the ball inside. They're saying, no, it's going to be short of a first down. I don't know how you can measure a first down now since they've already put the ball on the inside. This is the fourth time Tyler Moon has been down on the turf dealing with cramps here. Official timeout. Well, the marker says first down. 
on the the official on the side already tossed the ball to the hash mark. Referee spotted the ball. And now we're going to measure. Maybe. It's either a first and ten or a third and one. Big discussion by the officials. Moon's going to be out of the game for one play. And they are going to bring out the chains for a measurement <laughs> uh, let's see uh, i'm sure coach on the sideline over there is uh not liking that and there's preston our cameraman on the field he's going out there to get a first-hand look to give everyone at home a look that is a first down great shot there preston excellent camera work So what I've got to ask as a coach, you know, you throw the ball to the outside. He's tackled over here at the numbers. And now you're throwing the ball to the hash mark for the measurements. I don't know. All right, first and 10, 112 the clock. We'll start on the signal for ready. Schwartz under pressure. He breaks out of it somehow. He's got nowhere to go. Schwartz has to throw that away. He takes the sack. That clock's going to run under a minute now. Science Hill, no timeouts. We might be going to do a kill right here. Everybody get set and spike the ball. Yeah, stop the clock. 48 seconds left. It's third down now after the sack on first down, and they spike the ball on second down. Third and 13 for Science Hill. They need to get to the Dobbins-Bennett 39 yeah, they got time to get a play here. Play clock's at 18 seconds right now. Looks like they're going to have twins on both sides of the field. Nope. Moon's back in the game over here on this side. Anytime you got a scrambling quarterback to make things happen. If they get a completion short of the first down, they can't spike it. Schwartz, he's going to run it. He's got some room. Schwartz out of bounds. Did he get the first down or not? It's really close. Uh, it's going to be right on the mark again. Once again, that scrambling quarterback Calls the defense coordinator Spitz. They're going to have to measure it again here. I think Schwartz, I think Schwartz maybe could have ran that a little more before going out of bounds. I don't know if he was aware of where he had to get for the first down. Certainly couldn't risk being tackled in bounds. I understand that. If it's short, uh, Probably going to run the ball here to get a first down. Yeah, Preston, we're going to need you to work overtime again here, back to back. Good look on the sideline. The first one went Science Hill's way. This one goes Science Hill's way. Back to back first downs. And you can't get a better look than that right there. Right on the line. So 40 seconds left, first and 10 from the 39-yard line of Dobbins-Bennett. Anything in the field of play short of the first down marker is almost at this point, it's, you really can't have it right now. Got twins on both sides of the field. Once again, that's scrambling quarterback who's going to make the play. DB's bringing the pressure, throws it up. It's a flag is thrown, and it was caught, I think, by Emmett Watson anyway. The clock stops. 34 seconds. Emmett Watson came down with a great catch. Pass, pass interference, defense number 20. That pin has been declined. First down. A great catch there by Emmett Watson inside the Toyota red zone. 34 seconds left. The ball's at the 15-yard line. First and goal for Science Hill. The clock stopped. Now we get a stoppage in play. It's the referee when they're talking to the about something. Oh, 
I think they're saying maybe because they declined the penalty with the clock, should that have started when it was, the ball was ready to play since he came, you know, down inbounds? Uh, yeah, it definitely should have started, and they already set the chains. Here goes the umpire giving now ready the to clock play. is running. Down to 30 seconds here. DB, they're bringing some pressure. Schwartz is going to throw it across the middle, incomplete. He was looking for Emmett Watson. And that stops the clock. 24 seconds left. Second and 10 for Science Hill. They've got an injured lineman. The clock was stopped, so. That's Brody Barnett, who's down. Again, There's the clock was stopped. It was not a running clock with this injury. Yeah, I, uh, he might have a cramp here. I don't, I don't, uh, we'll see what the, oh yeah, he's got a cramp. I, I'm pretty, well, no. Looked like his ankle. So the ball is at the 16 yard line, second and 10, 24 seconds left. Hey, one thing about it, they can, they can throw quick passes. You've still got room for a first down down there inside the 10-yard the line. The danger is, though, if you complete a pass short of the first down marker, it'd be really tough. Time is running out here down to 24 seconds. Yeah, we'd have to see them spike the ball again with no timeouts. DB so, brought some pressure that time with just the front. They have. So if you're Stacy Carter offense right now, what, what are you telling the offense here in this situation? Second and 10 from the 16, no timeouts. Yeah, we, we've got plenty of time, guys. We can score. We tell our quarterback, you can't take a sack. You can't take a sack. Throw the ball away. We'll play for another day. There's, there's plenty of time on the clock. All right, they're going to come out four receivers here. Moon is in the slot at the bottom of the screen, number five. Emmett Watson has been the target the last couple of passes. DB, they're bringing pressure up the middle. Schwartz is going to throw it to the end zone. He's looking for Moon. Batted away. Excellent defense there by Hayden Russell. Russell was with him stride for stride. Knocked the ball away. 16 seconds remaining. Third and 10. It, anything right now, if you're tackled inbounds, uh, the clock could run out. Short of the first down marker. Short of the first, first down marker, the clock could run out. And you couldn't spike it because it would be fourth down. Yep. The third and 10 from the 16, 16 seconds left. Trips Here, on the left side. Here comes Throw DB again. Deep. They got him back there. Moon. He caught it. Tyler Moon with the touchdown. Great coverage. Perfect coverage. You couldn't have had any better coverage, I don't believe. The Science Hill crowd, and Moon is down again. His fourth touchdown. The quarterback laid the ball out there to the corner. Moon went after it. Jay Sean Schwartz, the Tyler Moon. What a catch there for Tyler Moon. Came back, looked back, and caught the ball. Now the all-important extra point. We do have an injured player still down in the end zone. Is that Moon? That's not Moon. Moon came over to celebrate. I'm not sure who that is down there. That's number three, Kendall Bumpus. So it's 32-32. Science Hill will have an extra point here to take the lead with 10 seconds left. Tyler Moon, his fourth touchdown. The PA announcer just said fans don't tear down the goalposts after the game. <laughs> the student section here for Science Hill, they're making their way down. They at least like they might run on the field here when this one's over. Gendo, remember the last time they attempted a field goal, they had a bit of a low snap, threw things off. They missed a short field goal here. So this is no, not a given here with this extra point to give Science Hill the lead. That was a 12-play, 91-yard drive after the fumble. With no timeouts. With no timeouts left. But Dobbins Bennett fumbled that ball inside the 10-yard line of Science Hill. 
And there's Max Curran, number 83. He's the man that can give Science Hill the lead here. He's just saying, you guys block for me. I'll take care of the rest. Kendall Bumpus. He was one of the wideouts over there on that left side that time. See all the students from. He, he went down to celebrate and got cramps. Walking on his heel there, that left leg cranking up. All right, so if you're Dobbins Bennett, whatever you want to use for your extra point block, this is when you want to use it, whoever your tallest leapers are. Whatever guys can get the biggest penetration. Max turn for the lead. It's a... Schwartz is going to roll out. Jay Sean Schwartz. Oh, my goodness. Is he in? He's in. Into the end zone. Jay Sean Schwartz. I don't know if that was... I can't imagine that was a call fake. I, I, you know, hard, hard to believe it, but I, I think it might have been because as soon as he caught the ball, he immediately made a turn to head for the corner of the end zone. See that? It wasn't a bad snap or anything. I think it was like the, uh, I believe. And he definitely believe, got in there. Oh yeah. Every, everybody is coming. We know everybody's coming. Well, that, that's what if happened. science still hangs on here, we will definitely ask Stacey Carter if that was a called fake or if they, Schwartz did that on his own. If it was a called play, that was a gutsy play that it paid off. Again, here it is. Jay Sean Schwartz in a tie ball game races to the pylon and gets in for the two point conversion. It's now 34 32. Science Hill, 10 seconds left. Dobbins Bennett has two timeouts. Now, if you're Science Hill, do you kick this away here? Do you squib it? What do you do here? Uh, I'm going to kick it high, and I'm going to drop it down there on about the 30-yard line to one of those up guys and get our coverage down there. Squibbed it on the Squibbed ground. It. Oh, they caught it. Clocks are running. Six seconds, five seconds. The clock went to five seconds. That was Branson Carswell that caught it at midfield. But with five seconds, they only have time for one play here. Hail Mary time. Now, Science Hill, how many guys are they going to send back? They'll have three or four back there, I'm sure. Joey Christian has two timeouts if he wants the extra time to think this one over here. Right, Ledger. Ledger. If Ledger. the clock was at seven or eight seconds, you might be able to get two quick plays, but not with five. No, once he uh, decided to run the ball, if he just dropped down on the knee, then they would have nine seconds left. Five seconds left. Dobbins Bennett. They got twins to both sides. Looks like necessary's back there at safety this time. Science Hill sidelines telling their guys to back up. They're going to throw it short. And Gillespie's going to try and run after. Gillespie's still fighting. And that's the ball game. Science Hill with the win 34 32 in the game of the year what a game living up to the hype the hilltoppers a dramatic win there in the final seconds down down to the end of the fourth quarter decides who wins the ball game jubilation on the home side The student section was told not to rush the field. They have not. 34-32 the final. We'll be back to present the Friday Night Rivals trophy to the Hilltoppers after this. At Carter County Bank, it's our job to help you focus on the happy moments. And if your green thumb will leave its mark on the community. We're here along the way so you can pull off the happiest moments in life. Carter County Bank, in the business of happiness. 
All trophies and plaques for WCYB's Friday Night Rivals are provided by Eddie's Trophies and Gift Shop in Bristol. Eddie's Trophies also offers medals, plaques, acrylics, glass, and crystal pieces for your business, school, or sports team. That's Eddie's Trophy and Gift Shop online at eddiestrophies.com. Getting that perfect slice is satisfying, fulfilling, and rewarding, too. But we don't do it for fun. We do it for fresh. Slice to order makes a sub above. <laughs> it's Ford Truck Month at Friendship Ford in Bristol. Don't pay over MSRP. Order your new F-150 from Friendship and get a free $500 gas card and $500 toward accessories. Nobody beats Friendship Ford of Bristol. We're dealing. The excitement is back on Rocky Top, and no one takes you inside the orange like the locker room, connected by Iris Networks. Join me, Mark Packer, along with Austin Price of AllQuest.com and former Tennessee wide receiver Jason Swain as we give you the scoop on the Vols. Each and every week, you have to play your best football. And speaking of the Vols, we'll have a current player in studio each and every week. Make sure you join us every Sunday night for The Locker Room, connected by Iris Networks. We don't want to waste your time. People just want real. We're trying to take some of these larger stories and show how it impacts everybody. The National Desk, America's News Now. Weekday morning, 7 to 9 on Fox 39. At Carter County Bank, it's our job to help you focus on the happy moments and check off the things on your to-do list to make them happen. We're here along the way so you can pull off the happiest moments in life. Carter County Bank, in the business of happiness. After a dramatic 34-32 win, let's take another look at that two-point conversion. Again, unclear whether that was called or not, but uh, it'd be very interesting to find out. Jay Sean Schwartz and then the student section, they just did let them on the field finally here to celebrate with their classmates. And there's a, a lot of people on the field right now at Science Hill. And uh, they're going to slowly make their way down to the other end of the field where we will talk with the victorious toppers. And here's Jay Sean Schwartz, the Tyler Moon there. They had three receivers. A Moon was in the slot on the inside there. Ran like a little a smash, route, smash route going over to the word corner. The quarterback just lays it up. Moon's able to reach back and catch the ball. So Science Hill wins the Region 1 6A championship. A lot of happy Hilltoppers tonight. What a game. So they will be at home next week, very likely against Bradley Central in the first round of the playoffs. Dobbins Bennett also, they will be at home against Bearden next week. So both of these teams will be at home in round one of the playoffs. And here come uh, the toppers making their way down to... We're going to get Coach Carter on there. The team, this is the second Friday Night Rivals trophy they've won this year. They started the season with a win over Elizabethan back on August the 19th, and they are going to end Friday Night Rivals October 28th with a win over Dobbins Bennett. Casey gets James Colley with you here in the game of the year. We waited 10 weeks. Coach Carter joining us now. Coach, got to ask you, first off, the two-point conversion. Was that a called play, or did Butter make that decision Butter, on his own? Butter made a great play. He had a, the, the snap wasn't down, and he made a super play. Just an outstanding play up by him. I can't take credit. I would like to, but he did it. What's going through your mind, though, when he stands up? Overtime. That's what was going through our minds. So, But uh, Butter made a play, and we were proud of him. Coach, what can you uh, what can you talk about there on that last drive with your backs against the wall and no timeouts? You know, just uh, you know, kids play gutty the whole time. I'm proud of them. You know, we had a lot to show people this year. You know, we were young, we had to go through a whole lot of adversity, but uh, this was their ultimate goal for starting the season to win this conference. We're so proud of what they've done. It's fantastic. Yeah. You know, that on that last drive, Coach, I know your quarterback had to scramble there a couple times, but your offensive line gave him time to throw the ball and when it counted. They did, and we had people make plays all over. You know, they played a great football game. I mean, we were lucky to be where we were at, but just, uh, you know, we, we had some opportunities to score, and we only got three points early there, and it hurt us. But, uh, you know, the guys were gritty. The guys were tough, and guys just made it through. Coach, now you go on to the second season playoffs as region champs. How do you reset this team? Everyone 0-0 zero zero starting next week. We're going to celebrate this night and worry about that on Sunday. So right now, <laughs> we're just going to have a good time. All right. Thank you, Coach. Give them that you. Rivals trophy and enjoy the win. All right, guys. Here you go. This is yours right here, man. Whoa. 
Don't hurt coach in there. Yeah. All right, Stacy Carter and the Toppers. Yeah, definitely exciting bunch of players and coaches and fans in Johnson City tonight. All right, well, that is going to be our final broadcast of the year, but what a one to go out on here. So let's take a moment to thank the folks at Toyota, Holson Medical Group, Friendship Automotive, Food City, Hardee's, Pals, Bank of Tennessee, the Tennessee Army National Guard, Jersey Mike's, Eddie's Trophies. Thank you to all the viewers watching all season long. If you want to see a replay of this game, it's worth it. 1.30 tomorrow on the Tri-City CW for James Cauley, our fantastic, I mean fantastic crew. You're going to see all their names as we end the broadcast. I'm Casey Getz. Thank you for a wonderful season, and we'll see you in 2023.